Hello, can you guys hear me fine? I fucked with my audio settings. Like, can you hear me out of both ears? Just making a little double check before the notey goes out. If I have to fix anything, is everything good? It should be fine, but I mean, I'm just doing another test uh, just in case, but it should be good. It is good. Okay, we're good. I fixed. Oh, shit. The fridge. You're right. You're right. Makes the background all the more magical. Beef corn for the 300 fucking biddies. Can I tell you the sus question forgot? Schlatt forgot to ask you without getting banned. Can I tell you the sus question Schlatt forgot to ask you? What do you mean? What do you mean forgot to ask me? <laughs> this motherfucker started streaming the exact same time Matt Pat uploaded a film theory. Oh god. Should we watch Matt Pat's fucking film theory? It's gonna be some stupid fucking oh Toad from Mario. Wait, no, that's game theory. What is a film theory? Matt Pat always has the the wackiest ass fucking conspiracy theories ever. I mean, I'm going to be doing the most outlandish conspiracy theory tomorrow on stream, but it's kind of a joke. Matt Pat's are like well thought out, like genuinely like serious. Nodi's taken a while? Not really. I mean, most Nodi's take two to three minutes. The Disney sniffer conspiracy theory. Are you guys excited for that? I hope it goes well. I think I, I have to practice my performance of the Disney sniffer conspiracy theory. It's like a school slideshow. I have a 20 slide slideshow convincing my chat that the Disney sniffer exists. It's it. I go in depth. I go into weather patterns. Okay. I go into humidity levels on this bitch. It's going to be good. It will be good. I'm not doing it today though. We're going to do it tomorrow because it's Labor Day. Little fun Labor Day. Little fun Labor Day fucking stream. Going to probably be streaming early tomorrow. Nodi is out. Hello, everybody. Flooding it. How is everybody doing? On this fine fucking Sunday. Beef corn for the 300 bets. On Chuckle Sandwich, he asked people, would you rather sit on a PP and eat cake or sit on a cake and eat PP? He asks that. Why didn't he ask that? Congrats on the Millie plaque. Well deserved. Thank you. V Corb for the sub. Gunner for the sub. What's going on, bro? Allie for the sub. 86. And Lil Slugger for the sub. We have a fucking massive reaction day today chat some fucking weird ass videos we're starting off with a banger bob owns over 240 love dolls fucking tlc video not gonna be a youtube video because that shit gets copyrighted then we go on to an old troom troom video uh a hamza video uh ceo is now warned that getting a college degree is a waste of time we broke out of prison why male puberty sucks and regular things that are sandwich. legal in people would you rather sit on a pp and eat a cake or sit on a Dude, why is that playing? My alert box is off. Dude, Twitch is just mad glitchy. Dude, my alert box is off and that shit just starts reading to me. Like, what the fuck? Uh, vibes for the three. It's for the sub. Uh, Caleb for the three. Or Caleb for the sub. Lil J for the sub. The Spice for the sub. Lil Slugger for the sub. Before we get into this shit, uh, we might have some more videos actually after these videos that I just showed too because these videos are kind of short. Uh, and I have a bunch of other ones queued. Before we get into that, let's talk about Mr. Beast. Specifically, Mr. Beast being at the American Dream Mall in New Jersey. And all of you that told me to fucking go, Mr. Beast is dead? No, he's not dead. What do you mean, is Mr. Beast dead? What? Uh... <laughs> it's Okay, for those of you that don't know, Mr. Beast opened a Mr. Beast burger, like an actual restaurant or fast food place, uh, in the in the mall in, in North Jersey, right? And Zeusy, many of you may know Zeusy from my streams, Austin, uh Zeusy AF, he went. 
And this is how many people are there. And if I went, let me just play this video from fucking Mr. Beast's Twitter. If I went, I would have been fucking pissed. This is crazy. They're all waiting to see him. Every single one of those motherfuckers there. Imagine if you just wanted to go to the goddamn American Eagle. Imagine if you, imagine if you didn't know who Mr. Beast was. On a Sunday fucking afternoon, it's Labor Day tomorrow, I'm gonna go to the mall and buy myself some fucking clothes. And then you pop in, and this many fucking people are at the mall waiting for Jimmy. Oh, I can't even hear. Austin went. Zussi, the guy, y'all know Zussi, right? He went. He has been there since 7 a.m. It is 2 p.m. And he is nowhere close to meeting Mr. Beast. He went. If I went, I'm pulling the fire alarm. If I went, I'm pulling the fucking fire alarm. If I went, pulling it. Don't care the fuck. I'm, pu I'm immediately immediately pulling the fire alarm. I'm going to say, damn. Oh my God, everybody better get out. And then I'm going to fucking reserve my spot. I'm going to hide in the fucking bathroom. Then I'm going to see Jimmy. This yeah, no fucking shot. Look at how many fucking people. And they're all waiting for him. All of them. That would stress me out. Would that stress you guys out if that many people were fucking waiting for you at a mall? Like you just stroll into the mall and the entire fu the fucking five story mall is filled with people wanting to see you and you alone and maybe sap nap. Dude, I would freak out. Dude, that's just insane. And and the fact that people are gonna sit there and wait, like Zeusy was like, I have to take a shit. What would you do? You can't leave. And where's the line? <laughs> and where's the line? You know what I mean? Like, there's a li like obviously there's a line to see him. How is that being orchestrated? How is that being orchestrated? Somebody said it's lagging. Is stream lagging, chat? If it's not lagging, this kid's getting perma banned. Uh, so you better hope that it's lagging, Caleb Rules. Ah, oh, it's not lagging. Ban him! Actually, don't ban him. Because he's kind of an OG. Time him out for 10 minutes. I know that's a complete flip-flop of what I was saying, but I don't care. And look, he has his own little... He has his own little Mr. Beast s statue right here. Like, what if people want to see him? Like, where are they waiting in line? Like, I just don't get that. Like, I would... Uh, thank fuck I didn't go. Thank fuck I didn't go. Dub in the chat for me for not fucking going. Because that shit would have been disastrous. I would have left. If I was in line for more than an hour, and I, had to, and I knew I had to sit there for fucking seven more hours to see Mr. Beast, I'm literally quitting. I'm quitting, I'm going home, and it's over. When's next Red Dead stream? Wednesday. I say it every time somebody asks me every day when the next Red Dead stream is. Wednesday. Every Wednesday. Unless there's an event going on. Until I finish Red Dead. Or until I quit. Cloak for the 300 bits. You gotta play... Juniors, next time you do a horror stream, it's a FNAF fan game. Oh, a FNAF fan game. Should I play a fucking FNAF fan game, chat? Ooh. The Diamond for the 300 Bets. Astro World, the sequel, Mr. Beast Burger. Oh, no. Where people get fucking curb stomped. <laughs> you think somebody dies in the American Dream Mall today? They get trampled trying to see Mr. Beast from for the sub? That's a way to go. That's a way to go. Dying in a mall trying to see Mr. Beast. Monkey for the 300 bits. That's 10k people max, so that puts his 100 million subscribers into perspective. That's what I'm saying. Like, that shit's insane. Dylan for the 300 bits. React to a Joe Bartolozzi video. AO for the 300 bits. Congrats on a mail. Thank you. From for the 1,000 bits at work right now, how to tune in. Make sure you do your job, though. Don't get fired. I'm Grant for the sub. Young for the 300 bits. Beefcorn for the 300 bits. Is it mid that I play Tarkov? Is Tarkov a mid game chat? Yay or nay? Phoenix for the sub, Chill for the sub, Tiki for the sub, Vibes for the three, It's City for the sub, Caleb, and we're caught up. Lil Chief for the sub, Jabess, Pauly, and Frum for the subs. All right, let's get into it. Rig for the sub. Bob owns over 240 love dolls. 
What are the odds this is TOS? I would assume they blur... I would assume they blur the private areas of these dolls. So I'm going to say we fucking watch it. These three utterly obsessed people will introduce you to a life you have to see to believe. We have over 240 love dolls. They've taken wow. a simple hobby and turned it into... Wow. Somebody said, I own 241. Good for you. You topped him. ...to an all-consuming way of life. <laughs> They'll go to extreme... It's TOS, Joe, I swear to God. You know how I know if somebody's lying or not? I look at their chats and I see how shitty of a chatter they are. TOS, TOS. They probably say TOS pretty, pretty often. Actually, they're not that bad of a chatter. I feel like you're lying, though. You spammed London 10 times. I don't know why you did that. You will be banned. You will be banned. You look small, no offense. Okay, you're recently becoming a, a shitty chatter. I'm letting you know. You used to be a good chatter, now you're starting to be a shitty chatter. Thanks for these collections. Max made the music for the game. Is it on Steam? Steam. Their passion knows no bounds. Oh my god. They've created their own world, which outsiders may not understand. Oh my god, I don't give a fuck about the intro. I know how goddamn overly obsessed it is. Everybody has seen one of these. I know how it works. Oh, right -ho. This is Bob Gibbons. This is his wife, Lizzie. And they have the largest love doll collection. <laughs> in the what the fuck? World. We have over 240 love dolls. That includes the blow up variety as well as the solid dolls and the silicon ones. These silicone dolls are also known as sex dolls. Okay, am I allowed to watch this? Yo, on God, somebody tell me if this is TOS. Can you show a love doll on Twitch? A little quick Google search here. A little, qu little quick Google search here. It just says nudity isn't allowed, but that's not nudity. This is for educational purposes, chat. And they're part of the estimated 15 billion... Educational purposes. Everybody say, everybody, everybody lock in. Everybody do a little peepo notes or whatever that is. Peepo G. Everybody type peepo G. P E P O G. You're taking notes. It's not showing up. Fuck. What is it? Is it peepo G? Yeah, pepo G. Peepo G. Everybody type that emote. Everybody type that emote. You're not typing the emote. Everybody's typing it wrong. Everybody's typing it wrong. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ne none of you have BTTV. Exclamation point BTTV. Download it. You're all you're all no BTTV Andes. Jesus Christ. None of you have it. Oh my god, a few chatters have it. Nice one. Take notes, everybody. This is educational. This is not TOS. In dollar sex toy industry, a majority of people buy love dolls for sex. Well, really? Oh, not... really? I would have never guessed. I would have never guessed that people buy those for, for that activity. The case. With they have dolls. teeth? For me, it's purely a collection. I've never made love or had sex with a doll at all. That's, that's not what I do. I buy the dolls because I collect dolls. That's my thing. Why not collect... Why not collect, like, regular dolls? You know what I mean? Why not collect, like, those... Do, do any of your grandparents have those, like, Christmas carolers? Like, those dumbass fucking... They, they're so shitty. They're such shitty quality, but they're for some reason worth money because they're like collectibles for old people. Like little Christmas carolers. Why don't you why don't you collect those instead? Christmas carolers dolls. See, I wanna just see like these things. All of these things. Like these fucking stupid ass these fucking dumbass things. These are literally the biggest waste of money ever. Uh, but I would rather you collect these like a regular old person. You know what I mean? Do you guys have you guys ever seen these? They're so scary, aren't they? Like, uh, like you always assume one of them's gonna... Because they're, they're, like, soulless. Like, you think their eyes are gonna, like, fucking peel and they're gonna, like, turn at you? No, I don't fuck with them. They're so annoying. They're creepy as shit. They're creepy as shit and they're, for some reason, worth a lot of money. I don't know why fucking people buy them. These silicone dolls can cost upwards of $4,500. What do you do for a living where you have 240 of them? New. That price includes the lingerie, instructions. Nah, bro. And I don't know. 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 I don't like how they're panning this shit. 
represents the doll's virginity. The cost of the collection, well, I suppose, you know. You like... wouldn't risk it? Should we move on, chat? Should we move on? Should we move on? I don't know if I want to risk these. I don't know if I want to risk these. We could queue another video. We could queue another video. We might want to move on here. We're not going to risk it. We're not going to risk it. Because we're not far, we're not too far in yet. You know what I mean? We're not too far in where like I can't turn back. We're in, in like I have to finish it. We're only like three minutes in, right? So I say we fucking skedaddle from this video. Let's go. Let's let's do another TLC. We'll still start with a TLC. We'll do a TLC that is not TOS. Night. Millions of mom. All right. All right. Here we go. She's completely obsessed with pigs. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. Not by the hair of our chinny chin chin. Every night, millions of moms and grandmoms around the world read children's stories before bedtime. During the wolf on the roof, the third little pig was quick to light a fire. But for this grandmother of two, nightly oh readings of the three little pigs is a ritual reserved for her own personal enjoyment. The wolf's tail was badly scorched. She ran from the house and into the woods howling. Because Sharon Reynolds is completely obsessed with pigs. I've been collecting pigs. I believe this one. You know how everybody always says TLC videos are fake? I believe this. Because have you ever met an old person that's obsessed with one specific animal, whether it's a type of dog or a cat? Like, old people get obsessed with shit. And so I'd believe this. I would believe this because this is weird, but it's not like, it's not like, oh, I eat laundry detergent. That dumbass shit. I like the taste of, I like the taste of bleach. That fucking dumbass shit. For almost 40 years now, we have over 6,000 pieces in our house, and they have sort of just taken Oh, God, away. not the fucking hat. Oh, my God, what the fuck is that? Everything. Her collection sprawls across the living room. Oh, I would feel uncomfortable sitting in that, sitting in that chair. You know when you're at your, like, you know when you're at your grandparents' house or just any old person home, they always have some antique furniture, no television, and it's just like, it's like you're time warped into the 40s, and you're just uncomfortable. Like, that is, that is exactly what this room is. I would be sitting there, like, that would be the, the one time I wouldn't manspread. That would be the one time I'd be sitting in that, I'd be sitting on that couch just... Just fucking, just fucking terrified. Like, just like, I need to leave. This is stressing me out. No, for, for no reason, though. I wouldn't be scared of my life. I would just be sitting there, like, worried. Like, uh, I, 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 and imagine trying to fall asleep in this room. Anything, where, like, if you're falling asleep with a, a bunch of dolls or things that have eyes, fuck no. 15 years ago, we had it remodeled, and I said I wasn't going to have any pigs in See, no TV. This is the worst lit- Dude, identical, identical fucking couches with the fucking barn carpets. What do you do in the living room? Read? Oh my god, put a flat screen here. Some shit. Here, I don't know what happened. Got out of control. To the bedroom. My bed is, of course, a pig theme here. I have several quilts. I've had to make these. Oh my god. Dude, those are people from the 1800s. Those are, those are people from the 1800s in that fucking photo. Do y'all see that? What are, are, this is literally straight out of Red, De Red, Red Dead Redemption 2. This is exactly like Red Dead. These though, because you can't. You have past 1800s. This is fucking 1700s. Buy a pig quilt. To the bathroom. Here we even shower with pigs. You can see them oh all. Oh my God. There we even have a shower head that's a pig. I have tried to stop. To at least slow down the collection of pigs. I just How do you think Stephen Reynolds feels? I have. How do you think Stephen Reynolds feels about the pig obsession? You think he cares? He's definitely pressed. He definitely wakes up every morning just like, oh my god, my wife's obsessed with fucking pigs. Arsenal for the five hundred bets. Sentimental speech incoming. Joe Bartolozzi, congratulations on hitting 1 million on YouTube. I've been subbed for one year and been following for like a year and a half. And man, I got to tell you, all the experience, very good advice, and way too, way too many laughs. You have helped me through so much, and I bet a lot more people. And all I wanted to say is thank you, and you deserve the plaque. Anyways, got to go. I'm celebrating my birthday today. Happy birthday, Arsenal. And thank you for the very nice message. J-Mac for the sub. Saint, uh, Saint for the sub, Milo, KK for the sub, B for the 300 bits. From for the five, 
not for the three bets. Walking around Epcot listening to this stream. You're in Epcot right now. I'm doing my Disney sniffer conspiracy theory tomorrow. Make sure to tune in. Maybe you'll be able to find the Disney sniffer. Garcia for the 400 bits. Uh, I'm at work making the bread so you can take it. Love you, man. Bro, don't work so you can pay me. But thank you for the 400 bits. From for the 300 bits. Rig for the sub. Polly for the sub. Um, I think I've caught up on everything else. All right. Yeah, we're good. I had to stop to at least slow down the collection of pigs. I just explained to her. I said, Sharon, we don't have enough money for a bigger house. And you don't have enough wall space left. I do have ceilings still that I can put stuff on. Dude, she has those, those glossed over eyes. Like, imagine you woke up and she's staring at you. You have ceilings still. Wow. That's scary. I can put stuff on. <laughs> but my husband might think I was a little nuts. What, did you see that ring on her fucking finger? Is her husband rich? But I can put stuff on. <laughs> do you think when they do it, she oinks? Oh. You think she acts like a pig? No. No. But my husband might think. No. Guy's a little nuts. <laughs> he might tell his co workers. She doesn't that blink. She doesn't blink. She doesn't blink. I might think I was a little nuts. <laughs> He might tell his co-workers that his wife is done slipped over the edge <laughs> with the pig thing. She didn't blink! She didn't blink! Sharon spends up to 15 hours a week searching for swine on her computer or in stores to add Does to she her own a pig? Why have so many fucking fake pigs? Why not just own a pig? Growing collection. I think about my collection every hour when I'm out shopping, looking at things. If I find a pig, gotta have it. A lot of times they're not big expenses, but it's kind of like getting pelted to death with popcorn. Over a period of time, if you have $105 pigs, it's still $500. With the sheer number of pigs in her house, Sharon spends up to two hours daily compulsively cleaning her massive collection. Nah, get the fuck out of the relationship. What was this motherfucker's name? Bro, you got a dip. I know I know you're thinking you're too old, Steven. It's not too late. It's not too late to get out of the relationship. It is never too late, Steven. Get out. Get out. Leave. Leave, Steven. This is not worth your time. Action. Dirty little pigs. Your pension checks are going to the pigs. When I was a teenager, I did not invite people over to my house because of Oh, the they have a daughter. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. Oh my god, you have friends over for your fucking birthday party and they see this? Oh, nah. I bet this woman wants a pet pig. ADS for the thousand bits. I would assume so. I wouldn't be surprised if later on they show a pig or something. Shmeep for the sub, not for the three bits. I'm going to show the stream to Mickey and ask him if it's true. No, you're not. Is the gold play button heavy at all or the same as the silver one? It's heavier than the silver one. It's the same density. It's just more material. North for the sub. Pigs. As I've gotten older, I embrace it. There's, there's a little bit of crazy in everybody in our family. I don't think this is a little bit of crazy. I think this is every room in every wall in your entire house is covered in pigs. That's abnormal. Tiny print right there on the shelf. Sharon's love affair started in 1973 when she met her first real pig. Doesn't that look weird? Pig. I used to work as a teacher's aide in a kindergarten. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm saying, bro. What the fuck? She looks possessed. And the teacher one day brought a pig in. Bro, she does not blink. She does not blink. And had it in a playpen. And she said, it'll be up to you to take care of it. And I said, well, I don't mind. I kind of liked pigs. That year for Christmas, I got my first two pigs. And then I got obsessed and started looking. Every time I go somewhere, I look for- Bro, and it's not even like my eyes, like I'm talking like this. It's like, 
She's talking like bl blatantly open eye. She doesn't have a glass eye. Bro, it doesn't matter if she even had one glass eye. She would still blink. Pig. For years, Sharon's family has tolerated her obsession with pigs. But oh my god, they dressed their dog up as a pig. Oh, get me out. Oh, get me out. To push their boundaries to a new level. Does anyone in your family have any known allergies to pigs? No? No. <laughs> After months of research, Sharon has decided to fulfill a dream she's had since the age of 23. To she wants to fuck a pig. <laughs> Her dream since she was 23. Had since the age of 23. To adopt a real live pig. <laughs> Bro, this is... She she's like 75 and this is her first time fucking adopting a pig. Everyone in agreement. In the Just go to a farm. They Don't they have farm auctions? You don't need any fucking qualifications. You could just buy the animal. Go to a farm auction. You could have done this fucking 30 years ago. Go to a farm auction and just buy a pig. What the fuck? The decision with or adopting. steal one. Okay, I'm not trying to be that guy. Go to a fucking pig farm at 2 a.m. and fucking wrestle one of them. Ding a pig. Are you real sure about this? I'm not real sure, but if I think you are. Do you think she eats bacon? I feel like that might be I might I feel like that might be something she doesn't do. I don't think she would want to eat pork or I don't think she eats I feel like she doesn't eat the pig. I feel like she doesn't eat pork because she's kind of treating it like a pet. That would be like you owning a dog and also eating dogs. Well you have to be sure too. You're the daddy. Well I'm sure that you're sure. I'm not really excited about having Sharon have a real pig in the house. It's going to be in the house? <laughs> You're going to have an inside pig? She would have to deal with it. Okay. They get big as fuck. Are you going to teacup one or are you getting one of those fucking fat 400 pound ones? That motherfucker's going to be breaking everything. I'm putting yes. That means you said yes. Do you have adequate time to love for love and affection? Yes. yes. For the pig, not the husband. Doesn't blink. So Doesn't blink. Does not blink. I'm excited. I can't For those of you that don't know what a teacup pig is, I actually got to look up how big does a teacup pig get. A teacup pig only gets between 100 and 200 pounds. How big does a pig get? A regular pig can weigh up to 700 pounds, right? And there's this one, there was this one social post that I saw in like 2016. And it was this family that bought a teacup pig from a farmer. And you can't tell the difference between a teacup pig and a regular pig if they like claim that they're babies, right? And so they go home with it thinking that it's only going to be like 100 pounds. That motherfucker was like 600 pounds in like six months. <laughs> Like, actually just fucking quadru- It was the funniest fucking meme I've ever seen. Wait, let me actually look up a teacup pig. Teacup pigs are pretty cute. And they don't get that big. They, like the- Oh my god. Like, dude, even- Even this. This is a- This is a micro pig. This is a full-grown micro pig. That's not small. That is not small. Full-grown pig. That, like, imagine they get, like, a genuinely full-grown, like, I'm talking fucking farm-raised 600-pounder fucking massive-ass pig. That, what, how do you even traverse the house with that fucking thing? I'm gonna look up teacup pig full-grown. I think that's what it is, the first picture that I showed. Yeah, they get they they get decently large. But this is what they look like when you get them. Like this is cute as shit and you have no idea what it's going to turn into. And then it turns into that fucking thing. Then it turns into this motherfucker. You have him when he's a little baby. Oh, so cute. And then he turns into fucking Schmeagle. Then he turns into fucking Schmeagle. His snout curves upwards. They get all fucking inflamed. No. I'm not owning one of those fucking things. Oh, yeah. 
They're so good at that. I've heard they're very, very easy to potty train. I hope that she is pink because I like pink pigs more than I like the black ones. But Wow. But if she were black or polka dotted or whatever, I would still love her because I'm just really excited about having a real pig. Hi. We're the Reynolds here. We came to look at the pig. Oh, That's they're at a farm. Oh, they're getting a full sizer. Oh, they're getting a full sizer. Nice to meet you. I'm Carrie. Carrie? Oh, they're at Hi. a goddamn Sarah farm. Carrie, nice to meet you guys. Oh, Come yeah. On. They're getting it. They're getting it. They're going to get a full grown pig okay. or one that's going to get so full grown. <laughs> Oh, yeah, look at that big motherfucker. Yeah, he rolls in his own shit. Oh, my God. All kinds of pigs here. This is a farm hog. Oh, my gosh. Aren't those cute? So they get as big as her? Ew. <laughs> look at her realizing. Look at her fucking realizing. Look at her finally fucking realizing. Oh, maybe a 700-pound pig in my fucking house that passes out on the ground and I can't move it. Yeah, maybe that's not a good plan. It gets as big as her. There's a farm hog. Oh my gosh. Aren't those cute? So they get as big as her? Yes, they will get as I big as her. I don't think we want that. A little bit. I don't think we want that. They're all gonna get big. They're fucking pigs. They're fucking pigs. Much, uh, but I'll yeah. tell you what, the best pet pig? Pot bellies. This little guy is 11 months old. He is probably. Oh my gonna... god! Oh my god, dude! I wish I sold pigs, cause I would, I would be that guy that would sell teacup pigs to people, and then they would fucking grow to full size. That'd be fucking hilarious. That would actually be the funniest shit in the world. Like six months in, it just doesn't stop growing. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> You're like, our pigs like 400 pounds now. What do we do? Oh shit! Hey, Joe, because I miss your plaque stream. I wanted to thank you. Your context has helped me so much with my mental health issues. I'm also so proud of you. I remember you at 100K now. You're at 1 million subscribers on YouTube. Clap it up. Thank you. Happy, happy Ervim. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Thank you for the fucking 5,000 biddies and the nice fucking message. Oh, my God. Massive dub in the chat for that. Virtually for the sub. I don't know for the sub. Not for the fringe bits. Do you think Mickey will break under the pressure of your stream? Maybe. Who knows? Tomorrow's tomorrow's conspiracy theory stream. My my presentation. I am doing a class presentation tomorrow, chat. Be there, be square. I know uh, on Mondays I'm normally live at 4.30, but since it's Labor Day, I'm going to be live at 2. Uh, we're going to do a Disney sniffer conspiracy theory. Be there or be square. Uh, one day the husband snaps and she wakes up with fresh bacon on the table. I went out to the store and bought 45 pounds of bacon, honey. Are you excited? Where's the pig? Oh, he's, he's out in the backyard. He's fucking dead. Just in a hole. <laughs> that is so fucked. I stepped on a big piece of glass and I'm bleeding everywhere. Go to the hospital. Imagine you get into a relationship for the first time. Go to their house and it's full of pigs. Yeah, that'd be scary. Barbecue boy from Three Best. Buy a pig and name it Crispy Bacon. That, I, sh oh my god. Dude, if I ever buy a pig, I would name it that. Chris P. Bacon. That would be fucking hilarious. Happy for the 10 gifted! What the fuck? Dub in the chat. Dub in the fucking chat. Happy, happy for the fucking 10 gifted subs. Damn. Oh my god, dub in the chat. That is fucking nuts. They give the 10 gifties. Actually fucking nuts. End up being probably about 100 pounds full grown. That's cat. So would you like to get in and say hi? He really I loves would Cheerios. Love to. I would love to. I'm dying to get in and say hi. She falls on it and kills it. There you go. I think you're making a new friend. Yes. Come on, we can take you home. You're going to be our baby now. Yeah. You know, I dropped Daisy when I first got her. Weiss for the sub, Drippy for the sub. Did I tell you guys this story? When she was like, I got Daisy when she was like six weeks old, right? And when she was like two months old, I was holding her and she squirmed and I dropped her. 
and she started limping for like an hour. And I remember literally walking around with my head, my hands on my temples, like, oh my God, I fucking broke my dog's leg. And then she just started walking fine again and she was fine. But I was freaking out. My dog has had so many problems. Daisy had a fucking tumor on her head when she was like four months old, had to get that removed. Oh my God. Daisy has so many goddamn problems. You have no idea. Zesty for the sub. Yeah, we gonna have little baby pig at home. Sharon, are you, are you sure you want to do this right now? I mean, we could come visit. This little thing wants to come home with us. If this is something she wants and she can handle. Scarecore for the 300 bits. I went to the Mr. Beast event in New Jersey and there are so many fucking people. I've been inside an Uber for an hour now. And I'm not even close to leaving the mall's premises. <laughs> Bro, I said to not go. You shouldn't have gone. That, dude, the, the, I, I was just showing that in the beginning of stream. I don't know if you were here. Dude, there's like 40,000 people in the fucking mall waiting for him. Dude, Zeusy's been there for eight hours. Should I text Zeusy and see if he's still there, chat? How close are you to Mr. Beast? <laughs> To seeing Mr. Beast. I'm going to see what he says. Dude, he, he said he got there at 7 a.m. And he was like, I'm nowhere close. As long as it doesn't get me in trouble with the law, I'm fine. Well, everybody will have to find out their, their pecking order in the home. And, and, and it's Susie's birthday. <laughs> oh, my God. He didn't sleep. Dude, Susie... Zuzi was streaming at like two. I gave him like five subs. I was like, I gotta go to bed. That motherfucker didn't fall asleep and just drove to see Mr. Beast. He's probably sitting on the fucking floor in the mall, just like, just fucking. <laughs> it's like a goddamn Mr. Beast challenge in itself. He's fucking sitting there for fucking 10 hours to see him. I've already figured it out, dear. 25 years, I figured it out. So Sally's the one? Sally's the one. She's going to be a very, very happy piggy. <laughs> I'm going to be a very happy mommy. <laughs> when I first saw Sally, I just thought, this is the baby for me. I just wanted her. You ready? ready. Oh, I, bro, they got to do a flash forward when that thing's full fucking ground. Once Sally is carefully wrapped up in her new swaddling blanket and secured... Oh, and it shits on her on the car ride home. In the car, the new parents head home to introduce the little bundle to the rest of the family. Hi, guys. How do you think a pig would interact with dogs? Do you think they would get along? Like, how would that work? My grandma said that she killed a pig for bacon and it was fun. How is that fun? To, I mean, like, I wouldn't say it's like, yeah, eating the bacon's fun, but I don't think the action of murdering an animal is fun. Imagine the wife goes past the point of return steal, of return steals the savings, kills the husband, and gets engaged with the pig. She marries the pig. I don't know how big the pig is next to the baby. That thing is massive. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Wait, hold up. He texted me. Why is everybody saying TOS? Oh, there's one kid saying spamming TOS. Uh-oh. 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 Don't ban them. Just time them out for 10 minutes for that. Uh, he said, not that close. Hard to tell. <laughs> Zeusy is not even close to Mr. Beast. How long has he been there? If he's been there since 7 a.m., he has been there for what? Eight hours now? Because five hours is 12. He's been there for eight hours. Oh my, I give up. But now he's too far in. What is the point of being too far in? You know what I mean? Like, okay, hear me out. Hear me out. He has no idea when he's going to see Mr. Beast. It might be another 10 hours, right? But, like, theoretically, say you went, what is the pe what is the point of no return? Like, if I was there for four hours, I would leave. It, I would have to stay. If I was there for three and below, I'd be like, all right, I'm, I'm going to leave. If, like, if there was no sign that I was even close. But if you're if you've been there for eight hours, no matter how f much longer you have to wait, you're too far in. You might as well just fucking wait. You know what I mean? Call him. I'm not gonna call him. He's probably next to like 
He's probably in a fucking, like, damn near, damn near, uh, what is it called? Mosh pit. He's probably standing next to, like, 400 people. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, I can tell you guys are going to be good friends. Kill it. Kill it. Oh, here she goes. She's finding the brick house. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> I told you she was going to take the brick one. Yeah, that's a smart pig. Yeah. <laughs> They're all the same house. The fuck? Oh, they put the bricks on top. Oh, that's so stupid. <laughs> I told you she was going to take the brick one. Yeah, that's a smart I told pig. you yeah. she was going to take the brick one. Grandma Sharon had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, to celebrate them getting a pig, they got a cake of a dead pig. They had a pig. E I E I O. With an oink oink there. Sally, look at what we have for you. Mmm, nummy, huh? We're gonna share this, Sally, okay? I think that the new addition to the family is a little crazy. Her bringing this pig home. That's a. That's like feeding a chicken, uh, chicken McNuggets. They'll eat it. Have you ever seen videos of that? People post it on TikTok. Chickens will eat themselves. Chickens will eat themselves. They will eat other chickens. Step above and beyond her normal crazy. Oh, oh, that is sweet. That is a cute pig. That is a cute fucking pig, though. But it's going to get ugly as shit really fast. <laughs> Sweet little piggy. Like, what's that? What's the... Oh, have you ever seen this? Hold up. Cutest dog in the world. The cutest dog in the world is this thing. Fuck, I don't even know what the name of this dog is. What is this? This, this is usually voted the cutest dog in the world. When they're full grown, they're so fucking ugly. These things are like cute when they're when they're born. When they grow up, they are so ugly. Actually, the cutest dog breed is voted a Dalmatian. According to moneybeach.co.uk. A Pomeranian. Yeah, Pomeranians are so fucking ugly. I'm sorry if any of my viewers own a Pomeranian, but they are the ugliest dog in the world when they're full grown. Genuinely, and they're they're the little yippers. You know what I mean? These are the these are those little fucks you would want to punt across a road. You know what I mean? These things are so annoying. These things are so fucking annoying when they're full grown. Look at it. You like you can I can hear it barking. Oh my god. Stomp on it. Literally. Fucking dumbass dog, dude. They're so they're and they bite you. I every Pomeranian I've, I've ever been around tries to attack me. Dalmatians are very cute though. Dalmatians are very cute. Objectively. An objectively adorable dog. Oh my god. Even when they're full grown. Even when they're full grown. Hold up. Let me pull up a Dalmatian puppy. Oh my god. Okay, now we're on. Now we're on. Oh my god. Oh my god, chat. Oh my god, chat. You guys can't even see what I'm seeing right now. Look at this. Look at that. Look how cute that fucking dog is. Look how cute that fucking dog is. And even when they're full grown, they're still cute. Even when they're, and even when they're full grown, they're still cute. Even when they're full grown, adorable. Nothing wrong, perfectly symmetrical. And they always they always have health problems. So does every other dog ever. Every dog has health problems nowadays. Because of of how humans have fucking bred them and inbred them as well. What are those fucking dogs that have those smush faces and their heads like a brain? I fucking hate those dogs. I think they're cute, but I would never want to own one because they have so many goddamn health problems. I talked to a second guard there, and he told me people slept at the mall to see him. People slept at the mall to see Mr. Beast. Pugs? No, it's not a pug. It's one of those bigger ones, and its face is like a brain. Not a husky. It's not a pug. It's not a pug. I don't know what it is. It's like a big pug. Maybe a French bulldog? No. I do I don't like I don't like pugs though. It's not a French bulldog. I would own a French bulldog. I this is one of the only small dogs I would own. Y'all yeah yo, cute or not. Cute dog or not cute. I would rate them a cute dog. I would say that's a cute dog. A Sharpay? 
for Sharpay. Yes! Yes! These things are so cute, but they have... Dude, they look... They Oh, my God. Literally, why do they have so much skin? Why do they have so much fucking skin? Look at this thing. What it like it like you could you could theoretically just stretch it. They're cute, it, dude. It, it, <laughs> so many health problems. They can't fucking breathe. They can't do anything. Scarecore for another three hundred bits. There's a line of ten thousand people waiting to get a wristband, and then wait in a line of twenty thousand to see him. I know Zussi has a wristband. He's in the line waiting. A cute, one of the cutest dogs is a boxer. Boxers are cute. They all have health problems, though. Beak for the sub. Mia for the 300 bets. A golden doodle is the cutest dog in the world. Should I show you guys a golden doodle? I will say golden doodles are very cute. Golden doodles are, are, are a very cute dog breed. And they don't shed. And they don't shed. Which is adorable. Adorable. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fuck. Chat, what dog what what is, what is a dog breed? What is your favorite dog breed? Quack for the subboard for the thringe bets. Annabelle for the thringe bets. The pig will try fighting the dog and the dog might kill it. Really? The pig next to the baby is massive. Yeah. A husky. Huskies are cute. Have you ever seen a have you ever seen a husky uh Rottweiler mix? The cutest dog, or golden Rottweilers also. No, golden Rottweilers. A golden husky is cuter. A golden husky, in my opinion, is one of the cutest dogs that you could feasibly own. They also kind of look like they would steal your soul. Uh, is this scary? This is a golden husky. They're cute, but it also looks like it could like feasibly warp my my soul out of my own body. And it would, like, murder me. Like, I feel like being around that dog late at night would be terrifying. You know what I mean? But husky mixes are usually cute. Rottweilers, I love Rottweilers, but they're also kind of dangerous. But they're adorable. Oh, my God, especially when they're a puppy. Especially when they're a puppy. Rottweilers. Oh. 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 Okay, should we go back to reactions? We're just talking about dog breeds right now. A great Pyrenees. A great, we gotta get back to reaction. Somebody redeemed Flex. Dude, a great Pyrenees just looks like a white golden retriever. I don't know about this dog. I don't know. This is literally a white golden retriever. People that like fucking sh the small shitter dogs. Somebody just said a cockapoo. What is it? Uh, no. 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 Actually, yes. Actually, yes. Actually, yes. Those are cute small dogs. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is a cute dog. That is a cute dog. That is a cute dog. Okay, we gotta go back. There's too many dog breeds we're getting. Okay, we're moving on! We're moving on! I'm done with the fucking dog breeds. That video's over. That video's over. Oh, fuck. Do we look up one more? Okay, what's the ugliest dog? Ugliest dog breeds. Should we watch a video on that, chat? Do you guys want to watch a video on the ugliest dogs? Ugliest dog breeds. Ugliest dog competition. World's ugliest dog competition. Wow, they have a competition for the world's ugliest dog. Yep, that's that's in contention. That's definitely in contention. Wow. What the fuck? Is that like some spinal thing? It looks like it's missing like some vertebrae. Ew! I hate hairless dogs. I hate hairless dogs. You might think this parade of- Oh my god! Dude, dude, why? No. You might think this parade of pet dogs wouldn't win any beauty contest. Oh, it's got a fucking diaper on. And you'd be right. 
because on Friday the 26th of June 2015, that was that wasn't even that ugly of a dog. That was just a hairless one. Stampy. The red carpet. Was like that's not an ugly dog. It's got a skunk tail, which is a bit fucking weird. Rolled out for the aesthetically challenged pups at the annual World's Ugliest Dog Contest. Or the idea behind the contest is to celebrate these these animals who are fugly really dogs. To celebrate fugly ass dogs. Well cared for, and they have a special ugliness to them. The audience. I would say some of them are ugly that it's cute, but some of them are so ugly that like it's not cute at all. Gets into it. The dogs. Like that's a cute ugly. That's a cute ugly dog. Am I right? Like, that's not, like, that's an ugly dog, but I would own that dog. You know what I mean? Like, that's a cute dog. But, like, that other one with fucking, like, the eye that was, like, the size of a golf ball and the other one, no. They're just happy to be someplace where they're being petted and taken care of. It's a fun contest. 27 ugly mutts were shown off at the event in Petaluma, California, with over 500 spectators. Oh, my God, like, shave its face. Ugh. Ready to cheer on the underdogs. Judges scored the entrance based on their first impression, unusual attributes, natural ugliness, personality, and audience reactions. Despite some strong entries, the title eventually went to a hunched back dog named Quasimodo, who's owned by. <laughs> oh, they didn't name him Quasimodo. Oh, they did him wrong. Oh, they did him wrong. Oh, they did him wrong. By Virginia Sayer from Florida. What does he have, though? Like, why does he look like that? She's unique everywhere. She has no neck, no butt. She does have the prettiest eyes and face you've seen, but the rest of her is very unique. Quasimodo has a birth defect called short spine syndrome, which means that's what I was saying. It has to. She, it looks like they have less vertebrae. Back has an unusual bend and makes him resemble a hyena. Virginia scooped the 1,500. Where's this asshole? I'm not gonna rewind because that's gonna make that's gonna be an AO moment if I rewind to see its asshole. But I didn't see an asshole. Price. but it says there's more to win in the. That's disrespecting a disability. It's a fucking dog. I'm not disrespecting its disability. Oh, are you real? Are you really gonna say that I'm disrespecting a? Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Oh, fucking brother, dude. I'm taught it's the world's ugliest dog competition. They're talking about what dog is the ugliest. I'm allowed to say the dog's ugly. See you on. Well, we're trying to shed some emphasis on uh, dogs that are available for homes that aren't exactly perfect to show people that they do make good Like, pets. that's not an ugly dog. Why did you paint its nails blue? That's annoying. Many of the animals... It looks terrified. And its nails are too long. You gotta cut them. ...been rescued from shelters and puppy mills. And the organizers hope the contest will raise awareness Aww. of adoption of... That's a cute dog. That's not a cute dog. <laughs> Emails. And the that's, organizers hope the contest will raise awareness. <laughs> that's a cute dog. I would own that dog. I would own that dog. I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that dog. Adoption of any dog. No that's not a cute dog. I don't even like small dogs, and that's not a cute dog. What they look like, as beauty is only skin deep. Oh, it's so tiny. Do you guys talk to a dog in a different voice? I have to. I can't. I can't bring myself to talk to a dog. In a in my regular voice, I have to like I have to like talk to it like it's like you have to like it's not like a baby voice, but it's like it's like a dog voice. Like you have to be oh, <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know how to do it. I, I, a dog has to be in front of me for for me to be able to do my dog voice. <laughs> it's you can't. It's higher pitched. You talk differently, like slower. And I'm like, I, there was a day where I tried to talk to my dog in a regular voice, and I was like, I can't. It's so weird. Why are, why are, why is its tongue, like, hanging out? Oh, my God. Should we look at the cutest dogs now? Should we look at the cutest dog competition? Cutest dog competition. We have to. We have to do the exact opposite. 
How do they how do they how do they rate a cutest dog competition? They don't have it. It's only they have a world finale. Oh, have you ever seen these fucking things? It's it's always the day. Is it the day of the Super Bowl or is it the day of the Macy's Day Parade? It's the day of the Macy's Day Parade. They always have the dog competition. Do you guys watch that? And they always have those fucking handlers that just run with the dog. And it's always some like old British fuck like this guy. And he's just, he's like, oh, hello, come on. Netherlands. And they have like some perfect, like the, like the exact definition of the dog breed. The bearded collie. And from the Netherlands, it's the bearded collie. What the fuck is that thing in the back? The bearded what the collie. Right. And the winner what is of the that? Year what is that? Dog show for two thousand. Dude, that looks like a teddy bear. That doesn't even look like a dog. That doesn't even look like a dog. Now we're just gonna clip through these. Sixteen, the Chow Chow, King of Egypt, De Los Perros. What the? No, see that's annoying. Why? It looks like a mop. Why is it? Why does it have so much fucking hair? No. That is a mop. That is a mop. Here's the representative from, from Finland, the American cocker. Dude, do they have to represent their country with their fucking dog? The no, that's a mop. Dude, these dogs are so ugly. I'm sorry, I would rather own one of those ugly dogs than this fucking thing. What the fuck is this? Representative in this Where's its final, legs? It's tripping on its own hair. This champion wins South a fortune, Korea. Valentina's it's magic. The bulldog. Uh, pop a big... <laughs> All right, we got to find, like, the cutest... Okay, that's a shitty-ass chihuahua. They, like... And then they have to do, like, the fucking competitions, and they hold their assholes up. Have you ever seen this? I watched this on the Macy's Day Parade. Because fuck the Macy's Day Parade. The Macy's Day Parade blows dick. I watched this on the Macy's Day Parade. Swear to God. I'm fucking sitting here, and I'm... I'm, I'm like... I'm like one of the judges. I have, do you guys... Do you guys watch this on, on the day of Thanksgiving? Do you guys watch this? I always do. Every fucking Thanksgiving, this is my tradition to watch this shit. I fucking sit there and I'm like, mm, yeah, no, it's it's got some muscle, it's got a little slight defect here. UK, Norway, Sweden. Dude, that dog is fucking muscular shit. Trying to look through them all. That's a cute dog. That is a cute dog. That's an ugly ass dog. That's a mop. Why do they? Again, he's dude, their hair's too long. They can't even fucking see. Like, how is it running? Or that thing? This is definition grandma dog. That's the, so you see what I mean? Dude, they'll hold, and this is why I find this hilarious. They will hold the dog's tail up and stare at its asshole. On video. On TV for like five minutes. And just stare at its ass. Just to see like, to see how perfect it is. Like they have to, they have to judge it on how perfect it is. And they'll stare at how, how petite, or, or not, uh, that's a bad word. How... <laughs> They'll stare at how symmetrical its asshole is. Now, it's weird. Indonesia. The Jack Russell Ter Antony but they'll <laughs> stare at its ass. No lie. When they inspect it. Oh, I love bloodhounds. Or whatever the fu- Oh! <laughs> it's so smushy. It's- <laughs> It's so smushy. And its ears are too big for its face. Like it's fucking hilarious. And it's also cute. Do a day's work. Aww. And here's an oh, it has too much skin, too. <laughs> Stern going. It has too much skin. It doesn't look normal. Look at it. And it's always droopy. It's like that one. It's like Eeyore from, from fucking from Winnie the Pooh. The depressed, the depressed Eeyore. Looks like he's got a pair of chamois. Levels, See, look, he's gonna stare at its ass. He's gonna stare at its ass. He's gonna, he's gonna say, "Oh, can you hold it real quick? Italy, I gotta look at its asshole." The Maltese. No, this is. Hold up, put up its tail. Dog, Cincinnetta Ian Summerhalder. I'm uh, waiting. I'm waiting. Now. He just touched his asshole. In Italy, a best in show winner in the United Kingdom as well. He's. Uh, Dude, how does his his hair is longer than his body? In all the countries. Bro, you gotta find one of the big dogs when they stare at it. Dude, it's so fucking funny. It is so fucking funny. I love watching this. And look how scared they are, too. 
because they know that one's tails in between its legs because it knows that motherfucker. It knows that motherfucker's going to be ripping that shit up and just just eyeing down that fucking asshole. Go to send them round. Look at it. It's like, please, no. Please. He'll take... That would have been the purpose of uh, bringing them in in size order so you don't have a great... Uh, that would be the purpose of bringing them in side order. And the funniest shit is when they fall. Because <laughs> a lot of these trainers don't practice the run themselves. And so there's every year, every fucking year, one of those handlers will face plant. And it's the... F I, I, I will watch the show for four hours to watch one of them fucking face plant. Because it, it's, like, it's like just their dreams were just crushed. Because there's nothing wrong with a the dog, they just fucked it. Look it up. Should I look up the handler's face planning? Dog handler's face planning. Falling down. Oh, it comes up. Oh, it literally comes up. It's so fucking funny. And sometimes it's in competition. Sometimes it's like, this is an agility one. This isn't just the show itself, but they'll fall. I to see Ripple. I had a and I was so impressed. Look at that motherfucker. He's primed. He's ready to go. That's an athlete. That's an athlete if I've ever seen one. We got our, our run order and saw that they were going to be the last dog at eight inches. This is going to be game on. Can you take out Lark? Ripple just take it in the sights right now. Yeah. That is um, a cute dog. That's a pug, right? Um, collected. Look, he's going to fucking bust running. ass. He's going to fucking bust ass. Here we go. That speed again. Damn. Oh, looking, at that, looking at that camera and still running and staying clean. Damn. Get to the outside. Push, push, push. Get over there. Get oh, no. He Go fell ahead. on the dog. He fucked it. You got to practice yourself. Dude, that was a fucking lead up. That was a fucking lead up fall. He ruined it. He didn't, he, he didn't even fall and the dog could have kept going. He ruined the run. He ruined the run. That was amazing. Get to the, outside. the fall started here. He <laughs> that was a 20 foot trip. He started falling all the way here. Oh, no. Oh, no. At least he didn't fall on the fucking dog. Thank God he didn't. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Just get to the backside. You're fine. Oh, the time ran out. And the owner and the owner fucked it up. Wow. Heartbreaking. That too bad. They're going to finish sucks. this run out. That fucking sucks. That fucking sucks. We got to see when they fall on just the, the actual show run itself. That's even fucking funnier. That's even fucking funnier. Dog handlers falling down. Dog show. Dude, it's the best. It's the best. Like a little trip. Wait, no. Okay, no. Oh, hold up. Now we gotta watch this. Now we gotta watch this. Now we gotta watch this. This caught my eyes. This caught my eyes. Best agility dog around. Hold up. Dude, these dogs are like athletes. A border collie handled by Jennifer Crank from Pickerington, Ohio. Pink, the two-time defending champion here at Westminster in the 16-inch. See, she's flat. ready. She's got the fucking, she's got the New Balance sneaks on. She's ready to compete. It's not just the dog competing. She's competing. This motherfucker's ready, though. Ass. He's fucking ready. Look at him. He's already, he's in the stance. She make it Stay. three in a row. Jump. Are we gonna get a three feet? Hey. Listen to her squeal weed, and go weed, through weed, this. Weed, 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 weed. That was a weed. Jump. Jump. Are we gonna get a three feet? Like Listen damn! We go weed, through weed, this. <laughs> yeah! That is, dude. My dog couldn't do that. Could y'all's dog do that? I don't think Daisy could do that. That's fucking nuts. And she make it Dang. three in a row. That's a fucking. Oh, 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 oh. Touch, 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 touch. Get that cup Dang. down into that jump, tunnel. Jump. Back, back. Damn, and why is it barking the whole time? It's fucking excited. Hit it, hit it. King okay, says, I got this, I got this. Back, Just back, tell me where I'm on. Teeter, go. Wow. Hit it. Don't relax, okay, jump, don't relax. Jump, tunnel, tunnel. You can hear Jennifer. Yo! Always working, come, come, always come, working. Come, come. Dude, they got times. Dude, five seconds. It beat the fucking previous time by five seconds. Jesus Christ. Daddy for the three bets. Play one where they fall on the dog. I don't know if there is one where they fall on the dog. Not for the Sabu for the or bow for the three bets. 
React to the Andrew Tate Meat Canyon vid. Already dead. Steel for the sub. Gunnio for the sub. Samuel for the 300 bets. Muscular dog looks like <laughs> Indominus Rex. Real for the 1,000 bits. Thank you for the 1,000 bits, Real SC. Uh, reverb for the 300 bets. My puppy got I got on the 4th of July is a black golden doodle, golden retriever with a poodle. Cutest guy ever. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mixes of dogs are the cutest. Austin for the sub. Have you ever thought about how they do a, uh, like, when they have, like, a chihuahua, like, like, mix? Have you ever thought about that? Have you ever thought about that? Like, how, like, do they have a, uh, like, what, what's that big dog? Like, a Great Dane Chihuahua? Like, have you ever thought about how, how that dog has to be made? Like, it's a, like, a Great Dane and a Chihuahua. Like, do you think, do you think a mix of these two exists? Because this is just, how are they... Do you think the guy would be the Chihuahua or the girl would be the Chihuahua? You know what I mean? I don't think that's I don't think that's a mix. I don't think that's feasibly possible. What's a what's like a Chihuahua a big like a Chihuahua Chihuahua a Chihuahua Rottweiler? Do they have to exist? They have to exist. There has to be one. It, it does. Oh my god, it does. This is a bro. And the fucking Jesus Christ. What the fuck did I even press? What did I how do you get rid of this, chat? The fucking margin shit. HTML. Move it. Move it. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. F12. Oh, I pressed F12. What does that even show? The fucking coding of a website? What does that even show? Dude, this is a Rottweiler Chihuahua. That means they did it. You know what I mean? Like that means that had to go, that had to happen. That had to happen. Like that's fucking <laughs> They did what? They had to do it for that thing to exist. All right. Are you guys are right, I think we're done with the fucking dog videos. Are we done with the dog videos? We're done with the dog videos, right? Yeah. All right, we got to move on to the next ones. Yeah, we got to move. Somebody said no. You want to keep watching the dog videos? Dude, I looked up so many dog types. All right, hold up. Next video. What are we on to now? Um, the Oh, God, this is a fucking trim trim video. I do not want to watch this. Since we're talking about dogs, I have a French bulldog who has an extremely rare color. I can send a pic on Discord. What do you mean a rare color? Like it's a shiny? Like it's a shiny Pokemon? Your dog is a shiny Pokemon? Uh, a ABs for the 400 bits. My dog has been in one of them shows and she died two days ago after she won first place. She died two days after she won first place? C5 for the sub B for the 300 bits. Insert the ice cream with a syringe so no contact. What? What are you ta- Insert the ice cream with a syringe? What are you talking about? I have seven dogs, two huskies, a German shepherd, lab mix, and three pit bulls, two akitas. How do you have seven dogs? That is absurd. All right, next video. This is a Troom Troom video. An old Troom Troom video. Somebody sent this in the Discord. Uh, eight weird ways to sneak food into class. I haven't watched a Troom Troom video on stream in years. Do they even upload anymore? <clears throat> Chat? Does Troom Troom even make videos? They do. Oh, they get no views comparable. I mean, they still get like 300k views a video, but they have, they used to get like fucking 30 million a video. Like this video is 82 million views. That is insane. B for the 300 bets. Ali for the 300 bets. Can you say hi, Ally? Hi, Ally. Oh, God. Let's fucking calm down with the rave music off rip. What the fuck? Want to have a snack in class? Bite off a piece of an eraser. Eat a berry from the brooch and blow a- You just say bite on a fucking eraser? An eraser. Eat a berry from the brooch and blow a bubble with sweet tape. 
Watch a step-by-step -step instruction on how to sneak food into class in our new video. Is that a cheese sandwich? Is that a cheese fucking sandwich? Shroom, shroom. There is a lot to do at school, as always. We have to like new photos, talk about what we did on vacation, and come up with new ways to prank the teacher. By the way, here she comes. We have to hide all of our stuff under the desk right now. Oops, who is it? Yo, anybody remember when you guys were in elementary school and you had, like, a cubby in your own desk? Like, in high school, like, you usually just have a flat desk. Sometimes there will be a cubby, depending on the classroom. But, like, like that little, like, it would be, like, your elementary school desk, you had your last name on the table, so it was yours. And then you had, like, a cubby. Dude, I used to hide so much shit in there. I used to hide so much shit in there. Dude, that was the fucking best. And then you, and then you move on, and then you got to start changing classrooms and shit, and so it's not your desk anymore. Oh, that's what sucks, though. Hey. Meet our new teacher, Miss Elizabeth. Wow. Miss Elizabeth. She looks attractive. But where is our beloved Miss Smith? Apparently, she's not back from her vacation yet. Even the new teacher can't make us get rid of old habits. Chewing in class became a tradition. Cindy's got bubble gum, but we are not. What the fuck flavor bubble gum is that? sure about a possible reaction of the new teacher. This is why we use a secret bubblegum holder. Coat a tape dispenser with acrylic paint. Dude, this is just so extra. Just fucking chew the gum. You just get a bubble, just take out your bubble tape and fucking eat it. You're gonna put, you're gonna put your bubble tape like it's a fucking tape dispenser? They're gonna fuck it. Well, who the fuck has tape at their desk? Put a paper ring onto the holder and wind a hubba bubba strip around it. That's so gross. What the fuck? It's brown. Is it Coca Cola? It's cola flavored. Oh my God. Dude, dude, just eat the fucking, just eat the fucking, just eat the fucking gum. Assemble the dispenser and take out the end of the gum. They're not going to believe that it's tape. They're not going to sit here looking at you. And they're gonna be like, oh, they're just- they're just getting tape for their fucking, uh, for their regular classroom activities. It's fucking brown and thick. Mild. And they just ate it. Gum is hidden nicely. Hubba bubba instead of the tape. I- I don't think the- I don't think the issue is getting the gum in your mouth. I think the issue is disguising the gum from the teacher that you're chewing it. You know what I mean? Like, like that you're not allowed to chew gum in class. So the activity of chewing it is more revealing than actually just getting into your bag and eating the tape. But it's hard to play a trick on Miss Elizabeth. I really like it. I think I'll keep it. She takes the tape dispenser, tears off a piece, and puts it into her mouth. The new teacher enjoys blowing a big bubble in class. Cindy erases her pencil. What grade are they portraying that they're in? Or portraying that they're in? Like, what? Like, like they're... I, I don't understand. Like, the whole vibe of a classroom is, like, fucking first grade. You know what I mean? Like, they got the... Like, these all colorful photos on the wall and shit. Like, like what the fuck? With a regular eraser. So boring. Take my sweet mamba eraser. Attach four chewy candies to each other using gelatin glue. Wrap the block- All this to eat a fucking starburst? Just fucking eat it. Just fucking eat it. With a cardboard strip having an eraser name on it. Hot- I think they're- I think it's more telling. I think it's more telling that if you have to go to this extent to eat food, maybe just eat before class. Like, like, you know what I mean? Like, why not just eat before you go to school? Glue the end. Instead of going in depth of buying gelatin glue to fucking super glue four fucking Starbursts together and then con concocting this big fucking eraser plan. 
Cindy can't figure out what's so special about my eraser. Is it made out of candy? Miss Elizabeth needs an eraser. Where is it? She will have to ask the girls for it. Dude, Shit. whoever the fuck this commentator is, thank fuck Troom Troom videos aren't popular anymore. This is so, this is like painful. This is painful to watch. Takes the sweet eraser by accident. She will find out our secret now. But the teacher likes Mamba too. She eats the entire candy gladly. Redhead needs a knife right now. She wants to cut off all her- Yeah, and 82 million views. How much money is that? That's like hundreds of thousands of dollars. That like easily has to be because a million views could pay anywhere between like three and six grand. So this is probably like, like 240 grand. This is probably a quarter million dollar video. Since she has at school, but Cindy doesn't have a proper. From 2018 when they paid even more tool maybe miss elizabeth has a knife roll out a sour rainbow belt oh i fucking love those oh i fucking love those top 10 candy top 10 candy somebody redeemed flex top 10 fucking candy top 10 so good so fucking good you missed my dono um not for the sub I don't think I missed anything else. My aunt has two little wiener dogs and a small pot belly pig and they get along well. Well, that was like from like four videos ago. I'm sorry I missed that. Shout out for the sub, Lil J for the 300 bits. You remind me of my brother. You look exactly like him. That's cool. ADS for the 300 bits. Welcome back to another Troom Troom video. Today we're going to give you eight cool secret ways to get explosives into class. <laughs> Today we're going to show you how to sneak a bomb into school. Using, using your chemistry class supplies, you can actually make methamphetamines. Kitty for the sub. Kim for the sub. You should play Dead by Daylight. And Dead by Daylight's full of sweats. Uh, everybody knows what I'm talking about besides you. Okay. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, it's Abby, lol, Rip Bailey. Rip Bailey. What? Dude, you said put an I Put it. Okay, chat. Does this make sense? Insert the ice cream with a syringe so no contact. What are you talking about, beef corn? What are you... You're saying my chat knows what you're talking about. What the fuck are you talking about? Not at all. Insert the ice cream with the syringe so no contact. What? He's referring to the breeding of dogs? Why insert the ice cream with this? Now I get it. Now I get it. Now I get it. Somebody redeemed flex again? What the fuck? Damn it, dude. Dude, am I getting weaker? Gotta measure the arms. I feel like I'm getting weaker. I like your forehead. Thank you. Mysteriousness for the sub trade for the sub. Cut it off at an angle. We had nine. We have nine hundred ninety-nine k on Twitch. No, we don't. What are we at? 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 Bro, we're at nine hundred ninety-nine k. You're fucking kidding me. Are we gonna hit a million today? No. No. Uh, we're at 990. Uh, wait, I'm going the exact amounts to see to see what we're at. Stream manager. We are at 999,240. And we might hit it today. We might hit it today. We might hit it tomorrow. Beef corn for the 600 bits. Sorry for cringe. It's not cringe. I didn't get it. Alex for the sub. Fire for the sub. Cut off the excess to make it the same size as the utility knife blade. Make a small hole at the bottom. Oh my Take god. Take a utility knife. Attach the sour belt instead of the blade. Who the fuck would bring a utility knife to class? Just eat the fucking candy. You're going to replace the blade of a utility knife with half a fucking nerd's rope? Or not a nerd's rope. A fucking rainbow rope? 
This is like so much work. You're disassembling a fucking knife. And put it onto the knife. Our new teacher has not only a sharp eye, but also a sh This is also telling you that you could bring a utility knife to school. Sharp knife. She kindly gives us the rainbow knife. I take out the blade. It looks like unicorn school supplies. It bends suspiciously and smells like a candy. It's dead. I don't think you would ever be given a fucking box cutter knife in class. The only class I ever had a sharp object in was art class. And, like, you had to be mad careful with that shit. You had to be mad careful. Social Blade user fold a oh, real time. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I think Social Blade's off, though. Social Blade's not that accurate anymore. That's why people don't usually use Social Blade to count uh, followers. Uh. Oh, my God. Dangerous to take food from the knife blade, but this blade is so tempting itself. Miss Elizabeth can prank her new students too. Dolly sneaked food into class on her clothes. She what is the? Can I ask why they're showing us ways to sneak food into class if after every way they show us, the teacher ends up noticing anyway? Did you piss in that cup? Did I piss in what cup? Dude, I feel like some Twitch chatters just come in here and say the most random fucking shit. Bro, I'm at school. He's talking about when I told you to piss in a cup. When did anyone tell me to piss in a cup? Like, am I, am I having a stroke right now? Or are you making literally no fucking sense at all? TB Brox for the sub. He made a sweet brooch. Don't worry. Our new teacher won't mind it. Need You're coming to school with a fucking super glued brooch of Welf Welch fucking gummies. A new teacher won't mind it. Dude, are you like starving in the fucking 45 minutes you have class? Wait until you have a fucking break. Need fonded and make I have never been that hungry in class to where I would go to this extent to eat food in class. Never. Gull. Hot glue a back pin on a felt strip. Trim the edge using a round. Do you think anybody actually did this? When you think about it, 82 million people watched this in a span of four years. Someone, even if it was one person, one person went, did the fucking utility knife rainbow strip thing. One person did this dumb shit. One person fucking got the, the, the dumbass tape roller and fucking did it. Like, I know the, uh, like, realistically, 0.00001% of the fucking viewers did. But still, that's like two people. Two, like, the fact that someone followed this is insane. Rai Rai for the 500 bits. It's so embarrassing. I used to happily watch these Stream True videos in sixth grade. They were so intriguing. And I almost got in trouble for eating a fake Sharpie. You did it? You were one of the people that followed this? You were the fake, you, you did, you followed the fake Sharpie. Laney for the 300 bits. Hi, Joe, this is my first time giving bits. Thank you for the fucking 300 bits. Curly Daddy for the sub. 22 months. What's up, Gideon? Uh, how's it going, bro? Love you, Joe. Love you too, man. Sound cutter. Cover watching the fondant with confectionery glue. And attach small candies of different shapes and colors to the brooch. The most nasty ass candies in the world, too. What the fuck are these? You know what this reminds me of? This fucking Spongebob Krabby Patty candy. Have y'all ever ate that shit? So fucking gross. Or you would get that, or have you ever had those, like, that pizza gummy? And it would be like, it would be like a pizza, like, the size of your hand. Let me pull up a picture. Gummy pizza. It would, it would be like, it, oh my god, dude. Literally this. Oh, oh. Anybody remember these fucking things? The E-Fruity gummy candies? I feel like it was an enjoyable thing to do, but they were the worst quality gummies ever, bro. They sucked ass. They were so fucking bad. That and the let me look up the SpongeBob gummies. 
SpongeBob gummies. They would show up. Yeah, the Krabby Patty gummies. These were bad. These were these were definitively bad. These were never good. If you got one of these in like a Halloween candy box, they were fucking gross. These things. Yeah, no, the SpongeBob patties were ass. The pizzas were 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 doable. These were bad. Mushroom for the sub, alley for the sub, fat for the sub. The cola gummies were the best. The cola gummies were good. They were good. They were good. No, but those those were fucking dick. That's what this is reminding me of, though. Like, I've never seen any of these candies. What is that? What, like, what is that? Dolly worries that the new teacher will take her accessory. But Miss Elizabeth likes gummies, too. Unfortunately, her candy bag has gotten empty. But she sees a sweet brooch on her student. Excellent! Redhead assures her friend that she has And why are they making the teacher, like, sexually appealing? Like, <laughs> like, like, why is she, like, staring at the camera doing a fourth wall break and, like, winking? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, like, I, what, what is it? I don't get it. It's supposed to be, like, this childish way of, like, like, sneaking in candy, but then there's also, like, a sexual aspect of the teacher. It doesn't make sense. It's, like, two polar opposites. Hey, how to sneak candy into your first grade class. Also, the teacher's hot. Like, what? Nothing to worry about. Is not the, the new sub. teacher is very friendly when it comes to candies in class. She is not angry with Dolly for the brooch. On the contrary, she asks her to share. You Dude, that use... looked like a fucking fake Newton. Those things are, are... Am I even saying that right? Fake Newton? Is that... Those are so... If you eat these, you're a disgrace. I... I fig Newtons, not fake Newtons. Fig Newtons. Fig Newtons are so fucking bad. If you, I, dude, when I would get these in, in like, class, I would be dead pissed. These are fucking terrible. And I, and there's always that one kid. I know there's going to be some people that say, I'll take. It's like 90% of the population fucking hate these. But then the other 10% are, like, so in love with Fig Newtons. Like, I had a friend in, like, middle school who would eat these every day by the fucking sleeve and he loved them and i remember just being like bro these are so fucking grimy like the fact that you're eating them oh no you're eating figs in some shitty ass low quality bar consider it as out of the all out of all the l takes you had saying the krabby patty gummy is bad is the worst take you've ever had really the worst take you think i've ever had is the Krabby Patty gummy one. I saw you at the gym with Joey Swole. I've never met Joey Swole in my entire life. The teacher's tax on food in class. Now you can keep eating your candies. See, I told you she's cute. Dolly adores donuts. It's a pity this donut on the pen is not edible, but everything becomes possible with our new teacher. Miss Elizabeth prepares a sweet prank on her student when Dolly asks permission to go out. Soak jelly powder in water and stir. Bro, all I can imagine is someone following this. Someone doing the step-by-step -step tutorial. Put sprinkles into a donut mold. And Bro. pour in the jelly. Why not just eat a regular fucking donut? What is with this gelatin shit? Just eat a fucking donut. And you really, 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 here, here's your solution. You want to eat candy in class? Here's your fucking solution. Eat a jolly fucking rancher. Eat a jolly rancher. Don't hide it. Just reach into your bag with a pen, unravel it, and fucking pop it in your mouth. No one will ever know that you have a jolly rancher in your fucking mouth. If you just keep that sit in the side of your cheek, if they talk to you, just fucking put it in the back of your mouth. No one's going to fucking know. Ever. Ever. Just eat a jolly rancher. Literally. This is fucking too much work. Mushy for the $15 dono. I'm learning English by watching your TikToks. Now I can put the F word in my sentences naturally. I would say don't learn English from me. Learning English from me might be a bad play. Um, because I curse every other word, right? So I don't think you want to learn your lingo from the Joe Bart man, okay? For the boys, for the 500 bets, Joe's life. Let it harden. Redhead and the new Okay, team. why did my mods do a poll of would you guys fuck a pig? Can, and who the fuck put depends? What does it depend on? Who the- ganged up on Dolly. Stop doing weird polls. What the fuck was that? 
They sneak a pen with the jelly donut onto Dolly's desk. Dude, it looks so that, it, it's, it's not. Dude, she had to hold it. She had to fucking two hand put it down because it weighs too much. Onto Dolly's desk. It doesn't even fit in the pen. It looks so delicious. Dolly comes back to the class and where's her pen? What is it? Did a jelly donut actually appear on her pen instead of the eraser cap? Miss Elizabeth knows how to cheer up her students. <laughs> it's like it's like why are they doing why are they doing this? It just Miss Elizabeth <laughs> And like dude, just fucking do the video. Just fucking do the video. Just oh. fucking don't even pan to Miss Elizabeth. Just, just, just what the fuck? Okay, Dolly. For the Take boys for the pen. sub. And return the jelly donut to the teacher. I need to glue my paper craft. My friend You're gonna eat a glue stick? This has to be the worst one. This has to be the worst one. This glue stick looks weird as always. Where does she get her school supplies? I oh. ate a glue stick before. Anybody remember that? Anybody remember my I I've eaten a glue stick, I've eaten chalk. I ate a glue stick. I have eaten a glue stick. Unironically, I've eaten a glue stick. A non-toxic glue stick, a whole stick on TikTok. It got removed like 20 minutes after I uploaded it, but it got like 100,000 100, likes in like 20 minutes. Like early 2020, I ate a glue stick. No lie. I, it was called Joe Bart Reviews, and I would eat like dog treats and shit, like, uh, like Dave Portnoy's pizza reviews, and I would rate them. Um... And I would, like, one time I ate a, I literally ate a non-stick glue stick. Just fucking just chewed it. Probably from some mysterious store. Clean an empty glue stick thoroughly. Add dry food coloring to half an I used to have a friend, I used to have a friend in middle school who would sniff glue sticks. Not knowing that Elmer's glue is non-toxic, so you couldn't even get high from it. I used to, I used to sniff hand sanitizer in middle school. That shows the person I am. <laughs> I used to sniff hand sanitizer. I used to go like this and I'd go. <sighs> and I would go and then it would burn and I would go. Uh, but then it, <laughs> and it got so bad that our whole class started doing it at the computer lab that they took away all the hand sanitizer in middle school. They didn't let us do it. And Sharpies smell pretty nice, too. So does gas. I like the smell of gasoline. I, I, is that weird? Gasoline smells good. Gasoline genuinely smells good. Like, I, I don't know why, but like, I'm like, not like diesel, but like a regular gasoline smells nice. Smells nice. Just watch the podcast this morning, what, laugh my ass off. What, the chuckle sandwich one? Beef for the Forge Bits. Do you recognize my name? Either Beef Corn or Lazzy. Lazzy and Beef Corn, yeah. Lots uh. of gelatin. Put in half an ounce of sugar and add some citric acid. Pour in some water and stir. That looks so gross. Pour the jelly into the stick. You didn't clean out the Elmer's glue. You did not clean the glue stick enough. You're eating glue. Pour in some water and stir. Pour the jelly. That is that is still that is still fucking unclean. You just pour gelatin into like a half and half mixture of glue into the stick like that matters facts facts as long as i can eat my snacks in class as long as i can eat my gummy candy in class without the teacher knowing let it harden i want to glue a piece of paper but cindy takes her glue away this is actually fruit jelly you can't use it as the glue but you can have a tasty snack with it in class it's boiling hot. The girls start. Dude, if Trum Trum started making videos like how to sniff glass, how, how to sniff gas in class without getting caught, that would be fucking hilarious. <laughs> Trum Trum's tips and tricks to get high in the back of class. <laughs> fill a bag with paint thinner. <laughs> fill fill a, fill up fill a cardboard bag with paint thinner and. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and while the teacher's not looking, give it a big, big sniff. Start sweating after thinking too hard. They need to come up with something. Where is my fridge bag? Cut out two felt rectangles, a smaller and a bigger one. Round one side of the smaller rectangle. 
Hot glue the details to a piece of black felt. Apply hot glue to the bottom and to the sides to make two pockets. Cut off the excess. Trace you know, this is off topic, but this reminds me of when I used to make... Did you guys ever make paper ninja stars? I used to do that all the time. There was like a two-year span where I got obsessed with it. I made like 400 paper ninja stars and like collected them. That and, and duct tape wallets. I used to make duct tape wallets and paper ninja stars and I would bring them to class. Or, or dude, this is going to be this is going to be probably not relatable for half of you, but for the for the some of you that it is, it's going to be fucking nostalgic. Do you remember you would cut a strip of paper, right? And you would finally fold it, right? You would finally fold it and you would fold it in half. And you would and you would pull it you would pull it back on a rubber band and you would let go and no lie it hurt so fucking bad they were called wasps and it because it would feel like a wasp sting and so you would you would be in class and you would just fucking shoot one of your friends in like the back of the head or some shit and you would fucking freak out and you would just start wars oh my god and you would and if you made like a really good one you would fucking keep it dude those were the best let me actually look up that wasp Wasp, wasp rubber band. It probably will come up. Oh yeah, here it is. How to make a wasp. This is such an old video. This is from 2012. It's probably somebody in my chat. You just, yeah. And then, and you fold it up. And you yeah, and you get a rubber band. You get a thick one. You get a thick rubber band with a lot of tension. And you just what? fucking Ew. rip that shit. Yeah. And that would fucking, that would hurt someone so bad. Anybody remember when they would fuck up too and you would hit your own hand and it hurt like a motherfucker? Because like sometimes it would backfire and it would like fucking snap your own hand. Oh my god. It was like playing with fire. <gasps> hey Joe. Love you, bro. My name is Henry. I've been here for some time and I love you yeah! and your content. But look up the dog I have Irish setter as a puppy. IK, we're off the subject though. Oh, look it up. You gave me 10,000 fucking bits. Holy shit. Please, FPS, aka Henry. Oh my god, another bit don't know. Big as shit. Thank hey, you, Joe fucking Joe Henry, for the 10,000 bits. Twin, and everybody would ask me, how do I tell the difference between them? And I would say, Jenny, who was my girlfriend at the time, would paint her nails green, and Bob had a dick. Have a nice day. <laughs> How would I tell the difference between the twins? Jenny painted her nails green and Bob had a dick. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. But please, FBS, aka Henry, thank you for the 10,000 bits. Irish Setter is your dog breed. Oh, yeah, that's a nice dog. Dude, I feel like most dogs kind of just look like different colored golden retrievers. Like, this looks like a brown, curly-haired golden retriever. Bring an empty... <laughs> Step one of getting high in class. Bring an empty whipped cream can and huff the air out of outside of it. How to get high on whippets in class. <laughs> By Troom Troom. Dude, fucking get out of here, bro. Now, that's a good dog, though. Go for the 300 bits. Uh, I always watch your streams. They make me laugh. Thank you. Lil Burr for the sub. All right, we got to go back to the video. But thank you again uh, for the 10,000 biddies. Oh. Love you and W chat and you, right? Ah! Keep up the content. Please, FPS, for the 5,000 bits, 15,000 bits total. What the living fuck? Thank you for the 5,000 bits. W in the fucking chat. Keep up the content. Thank you. Damn. It's a lot of fucking bits. Jesus Christ. Massive dub, dude. Massive dub. The top curve on a black foam rubber sheet. Is Zeusy still I waiting? I would assume so. Laugh my ass off. I'm gonna... I, I didn't respond to him. My chat's asking. I'm going to say my chat's asking when he's going to see Mr. Beast. Burn up for the sub. Cut out three strips. Hot glue them to the top of the pink felt. What is she making? Add other black foam rubber details to make it look like a fridge door. 
Fasten Velcro tapes to the top parts of the pockets. Cut the back part, side panels, and the bottom of the bag out of the black felt. Hot glue to assemble the bag. Add a felt handle. This is so much fucking work for something that's gonna fall apart in five minutes. Print out I the made this one. You made this? Fridge sections and attach refrigerator and freezer labels to the top and the bottom pockets. Cindy takes out her fridge-shaped bag and takes an ice cream from the freezer. It's exactly- It's not gonna be cold! It's a fucking felt bag that's super glued together. You, you just took it out of the freezer and put it in there. It's gonna fucking melt. Exactly what I need on such a hot day. She takes out a chocolate You're bar. You're inside. You're inside. The fridge section for herself. This bag is so handy. You know at once that there is a snack here. Or just bring a fucking, like, Yeti cooler to class. Just bring a fucking lunchbox. The class is over, and it's time to go home. Redhead puts her school supplies into a pencil case. Redhead, but you're not even going to refer to her by her name. You're just going to say what color her fucking hair is. I made one of the fake glue sticks, and this girl told, told on me for eating it. And I wasn't allowed to use glue sticks for the rest of the year and had to use tape instead. <laughs> Did they think that you, you couldn't use the glue sticks because they thought you were eating glue? Or you couldn't use glue sticks because they thought you were hiding candy in the glue stick. <laughs> they caught you eating. Teacher! Charlie's eating the glue stick. <laughs> Run man for the sub. No, for the three. Twerk? No. But it's not just a pencil case. It's a big yellow piece of Trust cheese. For the sub. Cut pencil case details out of a yellow... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's just like all this shit with felt. It's all this sh dumb shit with felt. You just made a block of fucking cheese. Don't tell me you actually put cheese in it. That's so gross if you put cheese in Why it. Why has Redhead hidden her pencils case for so long? This Parmesan pencil case looks great in pictures. We are getting delicious photos with it. Miss Elizabeth noted. It looks great for photos? What fucking photo shoot are you doing with a Parmesan pencil case? This is two. She likes her new- Dude, stop doing these polls. <laughs> Best way to get high in class, paint, fume, sniff, gas, cans. <laughs> Javad for the three. Watcher here, could you do a subathon where one sub equals one push-up? Well, that wouldn't be a subathon. Because a, th a subathon is when a sub equals a time frame that you would do. You know what I mean? Like, a subathon would be like, oh, one sub equals a minute on the clock or something like that. Little gem for the sub. Uh, for a million followers on Twitch, I don't know when I'm going to do something for it. I will. Uh, I was thinking, and this correlates with the pain gauntlet for YouTube. Uh, I could do a day, instead of a 24-hour stream, I could do a longer stream with a bunch of events. Of which, and hear me out, I would put a shock collar on and I would read tongue twisters. Ludwig has done this before. Uh, and every time I got it wrong, my girlfriend would shock me. I don't know if Ludwig did it. I think Idubs did it. Um, every time I got one wrong and I fucked up, she would shock me. And I would just do, like, event-based things. It would probably be, like, a six-hour stream. Because a 24-hour stream is fun. And I understand how that can be entertaining. But a 24-hour stream, you kind of burn out. And it's just a bunch of filler space. And so for a million followers on Twitch, I would want to do, like... Like, a decently longer stream, like a five, six-hour stream. But I would want it to be, like, non-stop something. You know what I mean? Clicky for the sub. Is that a better idea? Donut for the sub. We need a 24-hour stream one of these days. I know, but the time frame of me hitting a million followers today or tomorrow is, like, the worst possible time frame for a million or for a 24-hour stream because I start school on Tuesday. And so I can't do a 24-hour stream because I have class. And so um, I kind of want to do something event-based, and I could do a 24-hour stream in, like, the winter, like winter break, or somewhere where I have, like, time to do it. You know what I mean? Instead of, like, missing class for a fucking three days because I did a 24-hour stream and then passed out and all this other shit.
Does that sound good? Is that a better idea? No excuses. Stream in class? Yeah, no. That would be illegal. You act you know that's illegal, right? Streaming a college class is actually illegal, considerably. Uh, you can get kicked out of college and sued if you stream a Zoom class. Or a class in general. It's illegal. Uh, ban the kid that's typing his phone number in chat. New students. They are as funny as she is. You should have done the 24-hour stream over summer. Well, a lot of people wanted me to do the 24-hour stream for a million followers. I haven't hit it yet. I would hit it today or tomorrow, and then I don't have time to do it. So, um, I think I do something event-based in, like, within the next month um, that I would plan out, like, a six-hour stream that's, like, a thank you for the million followers. And then um, – I would do a 24-hour stream, like, winter break, summer, or something like that. I want to do a 24-hour stream, but, like, I can't just do it on, like, a fucking Friday. You know what I mean? Dat, for the 300 bits, can you react to my video? It was my birthday of August 25th. It would mean the world to me if you reacted to it. What? Can you react to my YouTube video? It was my birthday of August 25th. I don't even know what your YouTube is. Is it your fucking name? Like, What? Like, I don't know. You didn't even say it. And, and I don't know what it is. If it's just a birthday video, what would that even be? All right, I'm done with that fucking video. We're done with that Troom Troom video. That shit was trash. We're moving on. We're moving on. We're moving on. I got to fucking piss before we go to the back, or before we fucking react to the next one. Do one chip challenge version two. What should I do for a million followers on Twitch chat? What should I do? I can't do it today, obviously. Even if we hit it today, I got to plan something out. What should I do? I'm not doing the one chip challenge again. I would do like a shock collar thing. Maybe like a mukbang. Like a like a, a longer-ish stream. A drunk stream, smoke weed. I'll do that when it's my birthday. I'm not 21. I can't, I legally, I literally can't do that on stream. I would do the shock collar thing. Maybe another, I don't want to do another pain gauntlet though. That would be weird. Smoke meth. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> a mukbang. Should I do a mukbang for a million followers? Is that even entertaining? A sleep stream? That's weird. You guys want to just watch me sleep? I don't know. I'll I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I'm not in the rush. I I'm 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 more so I'm I'm sorry for the people that want the Twitch million follower thing to be like right now. I know I haven't hit it yet, but I know people kind of like want it like right when it happens. I have to focus on the million YouTube one because I haven't filmed that yet. I mean, I filmed the opening part, but I have to film the actual gauntlet itself within a week or two and then get that uploaded. And then I'll focus on the Twitch one. Okay, so it's not going to be it's not going to be immediate. Add wasps to the pain gauntlet. Oh, the, the, the fucking wasps. I could. Should I add that to the pain gauntlet chat? Should I add that? The fucking rubber band wasps? The fucking rubber band wasps? Should I add la that to the YouTube one? Yes. Rubber band. Rubber band wasps. Because I know how to make them. Pinky for the sub. Dat dude for the 300 bets. My YouTube channel is Blu-ray FL. If I don't like the video, I'm turning it off. This is just a, a thing, right? So, like, it, it, um, it, you're reacting. I'm not going to react to you reacting to someone. That's what this video is. Like, what am I, what am I going to say about this? Yo, is, is he drooling from his mouth, bro? Is, is he... come on, come like, on. I don't react to reactions. A reaction to a reaction isn't really, like, I'm not, like, what am I going to say? To me! Uh, how do I turn that setting? You know what I mean? It doesn't really make sense. But, um, all right, I got to go piss. Count me down. Oh, also, chat, you like the shirt? Yo, new tank? New tank? New tank, rate it. New tank. New tank, new fit. Rate the 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 fit. W fit. W fit. Got the got the long, got the long front and back. Young LA. Exclamation point YLA. Just started the partnership. Code Joe B. I think it's 15% off. Gotta go piss. Count me down 30 seconds. Count me down!
should I FaceTime Zeusy? Zeusy saying he wants to FaceTime. Because he's going to show how long the line is. Yeah? I'll just show it real quick. Hold up. Uh, well, I, I got to see when he responds because I, I just texted him back. I didn't see that he texted me. All right, next video. Social media is making everyone lonely by Hamza. We've reacted to Hamza before. Sex and love are fundamental in Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Perhaps that's why Jeffrey feels so depressed. He's totally deprived from affection. A woman hasn't hugged him in months. Oh, to hold a woman. Jeffrey wonders to himself why his generation feels so damn lonely. With the most socially connected generation ever, maybe that's the problem. He looks around and sees everyone he knows with their heads. Do you think our generation is more lonely than previous generations? This guy is so boring because he has L. I, I react to him because he has L takes. I swear to God, if people bitch that I'm reacting, bro, don't even start. I'm 23 seconds into the video. If you fucking complain, like, bro. Buried into their phones. It's hard not to feel depressed. You, you don't even know what the video's about. You don't even know what the video's about. Our generation has more losers than before. What do you mean by losers? People that don't, like, hang out with other people? I don't, I, I don't know. This is what our generation has come to. Jeffrey wonders if he could make a change. If Didn't he could... complain? Yeah, bro, you're fine. Suddenly make his generation more social to take them away from their addictions to technology. There was a movie that Jeffrey watched which said that if he killed the Dude, head... I, I hate how he does. Hamza always does these like in like big scenarios and then like fucking cuts into something and it's always this dude Jeffrey. Vampire. All of the minions would follow. And he always rants about social media. He every every Hamza video. That Jeffrey watched, which said that if he killed the head vampire, all of the minions would follow. And so, for the first time in Jeffrey's life, he has a mission. He has purpose. The state of social media has become very ironic, where now social media makes you antisocial. I think it's very clear for. Well, it's also ironic that you tell your followers to not be on social media. On social media. <laughs> Like, isn't that just, uh, yeah, don't watch, like, yeah, everybody needs to get off social media, bro. But still, still tune into, still tune into the Joe Bart vids. Still tune into the Joe Bart vids. Don't watch anything on social media, but still watch the Joe Bart vids, though. <laughs> Anyone to know that the more time you spend on social media. Where else is he going to reach his target audience? I don't know, but it's just like, these are monetized videos. You know what I mean? What it, need, it would mean the world to me if you reacted to my call, did he... Cold War Nuketown video? Dude. Okay. That dude, Daniel. Asking me to react to your videos is... I'll react. Do you re Should I react to that kid that... Uh, dude, I'm, I don't want to be a dick, but, like, I might shit on the video. You know what I mean? Just because if it's... A, like, I'm, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna act entertained if, if I don't like the video. Like, that's why I don't like when viewers tell me to react to their videos, because, like, if it's a bad video, I don't want to be a dick. You know what I mean? Burn up for the sub, Charlie, for the sub, because that's my whole persona in reactions, is is making fun of things. And so, like, do you want me to re react to it? Do you care? Javon for the three. Uh, oh, I already read that. Donut, Clicky for the sub. Pinky for the sub. SSP for the sub. Uh, Quest for the four. Bri uh, Brian for the five. Connor's actor from Detroit Becomes Human is in Red Dead Redemption 2. You should raid them. I'm still streaming. Actually, for the sub. Uh, all right. You asked me to react to it. I'll react to it. This is... I'm not doing this anymore today. Like, I, when people tell me to fuck your average Nuketown player. This is a 21-minute video, bro. Down. What the fuck? Dude, you got no like I dude, it's it's just no commentary gameplay of Nuketown. What am I going to say? You know what I mean? Like you're telling me to react to this like I can provide anything to the video. Oh, sick nade. Oh, double limb. Oh, double limb. And you blew up. Okay, next video. Next video. Done with that.
happier, the worse your life becomes, the worse your social skills becomes, the worse your mental health becomes. And so I don't think social media makes you bad at social interaction. Would you guys say that? I would say social media can make you bad at social interaction. It depends how you're using it, what social media apps you're using, how you're interacting. Because, like, like, Discord, I wouldn't say makes you less socially interactive. Like, if you're on Discord calls with your friends and shit, like, you're talking to people. Maybe it'll be more awkward when you're in person, but, like, it's making you more social. Whereas, like, yeah, maybe scrolling on TikTok all the time would make you less social. But I would say it really depends. It depends what app it is and what you're doing on that app. Loxley for the sub. What we see around us in our generation of young people is everyone who has succumbed to the addictions of these apps. Because there's a lot of pleasure and dopamine to be gained when you invest into these apps and you get likes and you post pictures and you get DMs and you get a response from someone and look, there's attractive people and there's a sexy person and there's a successful person. But when you take a step back and you objectively evaluate the consequences of social media on your individual life and also on society and our generation as a whole, it's- Would you rather have social media or not have social media is really the question it's it's there's no in between like i understand there's moderation but he's basically arguing that you're either choosing one or the other i would rather have it just because even though there's downsides to social media it makes life easier right like it makes life a million times easier glitter for the 300 bits uh ron vader for the sub like, it, it, it's to the point where you're sitting there, and if you didn't have social media, you can't really contact or update with people unless you call them or meet them. It's just, it's a pain in the ass. It's fucked us. You and I are in the loneliest generation of human history. There has not been a generation before us that has been lonelier than we are. You know, there's an argument for social media, which is, it lets you connect with people all over the world. What's interesting? We can connect to anyone, people all over the world. So why are we even lonelier because of this technology? Because the connection that you make- Well, it's not physical connection. That's why. Through these apps, through technology, is not even one-tenth of the connection that you make in person. But there is a level of discomfort and challenge and even pain involved in experiencing your social life in real life. You know, you have to get ready, you have to put clothes on, you have to go outside, you have to face potential rejection in front of everyone else in the public. Those things can be pretty scary, but previous generations- Oh, Zussi texted me. Oh, he sent me a video. Do you guys want to see it? Oh my God. What the fuck? It's not- Hold up. There, they, there's like a big line on multiple stories to see Mr. Beast. And it goes forever. It doesn't end. It literally doesn't end. And it's all fucking just Mr. Beast fans. Every single one. Hold up. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. -mm 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 -mm. All right. Glitter for the 300 bits, Ron Vader for the sub. Did Zussi give up? No, I don't think so. I think he has a wristband, so there's like some line he gets to stay in. Generations navigated that well. Now we have an alternative that is incredibly comfortable, quick, fast, pleasurable. And so, of course, most people choose Big this. Big doo doo for the this. sub. Most people choose. Did he react to his video yet? Also, we have a bunch of unbans. I was thinking we do on bands Monday, tomorrow. Do you guys want to do on band? I was going to do tomorrow. I was going to do Disney conspiracy theory on bands fall guys. In that order. Social media over real life social connection. And it's in the term social media. You've always known media isn't good for you. Whereas social connection is a very beautiful thing. So we've always wanted to connect with more people. It's just a struggle when they're Unbanned late night, Instagram. pointless. I just randomly saw a glimpse of my unbanned reactions are better. Party. Or not unbanned That's reactions. A... Late night reactions are better than unbanned late nights. I'm 22 years old. Fucking hell. And it was literally like... Alright, this video actually does suck. This video actually does suck. We're gonna move on from that video. No lie, that one he's just rambling about nothing.
All right, Steven share video first. Thoughts? We have four videos left. We have We Broke Out of Prison by Steven Chair. CEOs warn that getting a degree is a waste of time. Why male puberty sucks. We'll do it in this order. Steven Chair. Jesus Christ. Please, for the 700 bits. Henry here again. Can you react to the Hellbenders Appalooza? It's funny. It's a four-minute video. It's not my video. <sighs> okay. Uh, I will maybe cue it. Uh, I'm not going to react to it today, probably. Uh, but what I will say in general is uh, I'll, I'll, I'll add it to the watch later. What I'll say is uh, I just added it. Um, if you want me to react to a video, I understand people request videos here, but request them in the Discord. Just send them in the Discord. It's easier, more regulated than me having to pause my stream and then look something up and decide if I'm going to add it for another day or something. You know what I mean? It's just easier for me to do off stream. Don't say sorry. There's You don't, you don't need to be sorry. It's just an, an inform, informative thing for my chat. Uh, that dude for the 300 bits. Thank you for at least looking at my video. It meant the world to me. Also, if I make a video that is good and has good. Also, it meant the world to me. Also, if I make a video that is good and has good commentary. Are you saying what I react to it? If it has good commentary and it's a good video, yeah. Just send it in the Discord. I like you don't need to send bits to ask me to react to it. She's got to be around here somewhere. Look, they have army trucks. Oh shit! Didn't announce this. We broke out of prison. This is Stephen Sharer breaking someone out of prison. She's got to be around here somewhere. Look, they have army trucks and everything. Oh, there's prisoners right there. <gasps> Wait, is that is that my friend, Katie? Katie. Prisoners at a fucking children's park. Since when does a state penitentiary? have a fucking slide and monkey bars at the fucking outside grounds of a prison. Katie, Katie, Aiden! Katie, Aiden! oh my goodness. You have to help me, I'm stuck in jail. Katie, what is going on? How long have you been Alexa here? Alexa arrested me and now I'm stuck here with all these criminals. Oh my goodness, Katie, wait, they have a playground at your jail? Yeah, it's pretty nice. Wait, what, how? It doesn't matter, Steven, you have to break. Are they really gonna try and like pan that off? Like, like I don't, I don't know. When I watch a Steven Chair video, I don't know if he's trying to make it seem real for his younger audience or if he's literally kind of like falling into that. And she's a prisoner in every video. Yeah, the last video we reacted to, she's always in jail for something. That's the whole premise of half of his videos is he's breaking her out of something. Break me out of here. Okay, do you think you can climb this fence? Um, try to climb it, try to climb it. Oh my goodness. Yes, yes, come on, Katie. Oh, we almost got it. We have to find another way. Okay, okay. Hold Just on. climb the fence. Just climb the fucking fence. The fence is eight feet tall with no barbed wire. Climb the fence. If that was a prison fence, everyone would fucking leave. Where's where's all the guards? Where's all the guards? They come around like every hour or so? I don't know. Okay, um. Every hour? Oh, God. Oh, okay, uh, what about this bush? Is there a hole in this bush over here? Um, no. Nothing? No, nothing down here. A hole in the bush? What? How long are you guys going to be out here for? I don't know. We only get like 30 minutes a day outside. 30 minutes? Okay, okay. Wow. Are, are, there, are there other prisoners nice? Uh, I don't know. I try not to talk to anybody. Okay, okay, okay. Let me see if I can somehow figure out a way to get you out. I'm going to go maybe talk to the officer. Also... Am I wrong in saying that I don't think outside prison grounds are ever near a public area? Like, a, you, might, you might pass a prison on a road, but, like, you're not going to walk on a sidewalk and pass fucking prisoners. Like, that's not, that's not a thing. You're going to leave? Katie, I, I'm gonna go They'll be by a road, but, like... Not the the actual area where they're outside. No. Them and tell them that you shouldn't have been arrested for trespassing. Just because then, then in that actual scenario, somebody could just run up with fucking pliers and just bend the fence, and then you would get out. Security guard, like, turned you in for no reason. I know, Steven. Alexa is crazy. You have to fire her. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to fire her once we get you out of here. Okay, well, you better hurry up. Go talk to the police officers. I only have like 20 minutes left. So the woman that arrested her works for Steven. What? Outside. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go talk to the police officers. In the meantime, Katie, just don't look suspicious. Just blend in with the other prisoners. Okay, I'll try my best. You have to hurry up because orange is just not my color. You're so right, Katie. Okay, I'm gonna go yeah, find- Yeah, that's- that's the problem of being in prison. That orange isn't your color. Not the fact that you basically have no rights and you're in a fucking penitentiary and you have shitty food and you can't leave and you sleep in a cell with a fucking cellmate. No, that's not the issue of prison. It's the fact that orange isn't your color. 
to police officers and I'm gonna see if I can get Katie out of jail. This is absolutely crazy. I cannot believe this is happening. Where's the entrance to this police station? I've never been to a police station. I don't even know how these things work. All these prisoners are just hanging out in the prison yard there next to that army Hummer, which is kind of cool, but we gotta get her out of jail. Okay, let's see, the police cars are there. Police, 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 all there. But there's not a single police officer in the car. How do you go into this jail? How do you talk to people? Let's see, I think the front entrance is around here somewhere. This looks like a pretty nice jail. Hmm, let me see, what's around? It's probably a municipal building. It literally says it right there. Oh my fucking God. Here, huh. Avalon Public Safety. Let's go this way. Okay, perfect. Let's go in here. Um, okay, it doesn't look like anyone's in here. I don't know where everyone is. This is not it. Okay, no one's in the building there. Do you think he scanned the area first to make sure nobody was in there so he wouldn't embarrass himself by fucking vlogging him saying no one's here? I think we're gonna be up to our own devices. I think we gotta figure out a way to break Katie out of this jail because I don't know where everybody is. Okay, okay. Katie, 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 come here, come here, come here. Hey, did you find any way out? Not quite. I couldn't find any police officers. I went inside the building and it was completely empty. None? None. Weird. I know. I don't know what's going well, like, on. Like, what if while they're filming this, a kid comes to the playground? Like, do they tell the kid they just can't come in? Like, what if a kid's like, like, their mom takes the kid to the fucking playground, and Steven shares filming a fucking prison video. This is a preschool. These cars in the parking lot are empty, so I don't really know how to get you out. Steven, you have to get me out of here. I know. I know you're not a criminal. But what I does that sign say? Steven, break the law. I know. Well, technically, Alexa thought you did. She's evil, Steven. I know. I know, Katie. I'm going to get you out of here. Okay, one more time. Just try to climb the fence. It'd be so much easier if you could- It says no dogs on the sports fields. You couldn't fucking film outside of the goddamn sign? That literally just proves it. Climb. Okay, maybe a running start? Yeah, running start, that's perfect. Ready, Katie? Okay. Three, two, one, go! Come on, come on, come on! Go! <laughs> what? Ow! What? We're gonna act like it's electric? He touched the fence. He just touched the fence. He is touching the fence. And you're gonna act like it's electric now. Technically, Alexa thought you did. He's Please. touching the fucking fence. Right there. Evil Steven. I know, I know, Katie. I'm a running start. That's perfect. Ready, Katie? Okay. Three, two, one, go. Come on, come on, come on. Go. <laughs> what? Ow, what? Steven, that's an electric fan. Oh. He was just touching it. That side isn't electric. Are you fucking dumb? An electric fence would electrify the entire fence. Regardless of sides. You can't decipher what it would be. A metal fence that is electrified, either side you touch would be electric. Okay, you know what? Maybe I'm not gonna touch that. Give me one second, let me just- It's only electric from one side? Is my whole chat trying to convince me that he's somehow touching the wrong side? Let's go see if I can find an officer. She also tried to climb it earlier and it wasn't electric. Climb and just get you out of here so you don't have to climb that. Okay, please Attention. hurry, Steven. Oh. I can't stand here. And we only have 10 more minutes outside. <gasps> Ow! Oh, okay. I'll be right back, Kitty. I'll be right back. Let me go down this way. By the way, shares, everyone comment down below right now how you think I should get her out of jail. This is absolutely wild. I literally... Blow up the park? I can't comment that. That'll get my YouTube account banned. Another great video. I love how Steven's videos is. Steven's content is. And how much effort he puts into this videos. I, dude, does anybody remember this fuck? Does anybody remember this person? He, dude, this person comments on every single one of his videos. Every one. Yeah, they comment like 45 times. Let's get to 50 million. Share the love. That's an awesome video. Hashtag share the love. They comment like 45 times on every fucking video. Steven, you are ma still making content, but I used to watch you years ago. You made my childhood, and I think that video's... I think that the videos were better, but it's your opinion. Who am I to judge? Oh my god, the one fucking mean comment, and it's still kind of nice. Still a kind of nice comment, but it's the only semi-mean comment there's been. Where's Lil Cobra? I haven't seen him in a while. I don't know. Is Lil Cobra banned? He is not banned. He just hasn't shown up. No, he was here yesterday. Um, Lil Cobra was here yesterday. Really? Didn't even see him. Rye Rye for the Fivers Bits. My dad used to work at a prison and across the street from the prison was a KFC, Subway, and Walmart in a neighborhood. The only difference is the fence is deadly electric. That's what I'm saying. 
Like, it wouldn't just be like, oh, just a casual fence on a sidewalk. I literally have no idea, but if any of you have any ideas, comment down below. I want to see the creative ways that you have of getting my friend Katie out of jail. Uh-oh, wait, are they going back inside? Oh, Katie, what are you doing? Steven, help me, we're going back inside. Really? That's, this, do, do prisons even do this? Hands on the person in front of you and you have to fucking single file line walk inside? Steven, help me, we're going back inside. A couple minutes. Wait, Katie, what? You have to hurry. What do you mean you're going back inside? We have to go back inside for the rest of the day. And why are they in flip flops? Maybe the rest of the. Why are they in fucking flip flops? What prisoners wear fucking flip flops? A week. Katie, what? What? Yeah, it's I... now or never, Steven. You have to get me out of here. I tried, Katie. I literally have no. He's other touching idea. the fence. He's touching the fence. He is touching the quote unquote electric fence. How do? Katie! Wait, Katie, 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 Katie! Okay, we're going back inside, but I get one phone call, okay? So I'm gonna call you on your iPhone, and when you answer, I need you to come back to the prison and pick me up at the South Gate. The you South Gate, South Gate, yes, yes, so I can do that. So she's okay. just gonna escape herself. And when you come, I need you to bring me some undercover clothes, alright? Undercover clothes? He's clo touching the wrong side, though. No, he's not. His fingers are on... That finger is touching her side of the fence. Southgate, wait for your phone call. You're gonna call my brand new iPhone. Your brand new iPhone. You have to pick up Steven. It's so important. Okay, and do you remember why are they is? talking about his brand new iPhone? Why is that a stipulation of the video? Yes, Steven, the phone number is 703. She just touched it. She just fucking touched it. She just fucking touched it. Five, three, four, three, two. That's it, Katie. That's it. That's okay, it. Okay, okay, I got this. How much you wanna bet? How much you wanna bet this is a bot call? How much you wanna bet they said this phone number? So Steven shares call this number. And it is a phone number that signs you up to a mailing list. It's like one of those famous people. Have you ever seen those famous people in the like, they're like, call me. And then they put the number. I'm not calling that number because it's going to fucking sign me up for a mailing list. It's one of those things. It's like, a, 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 like the, the Nelk boys did it. A bunch of people do it. Yeah, call me at this. We're gonna answering calls all day. They don't fucking answer shit. It signs you up for a fucking text message SMS program. No. 703-215-3432. That's it, Katie. That's it. That's okay, it. Okay, okay. I got this. Okay, I got my phone on me. I'm gonna go home, grab your undercover clothes. Yes. I'm gonna meet you at the south gate when you call me. Okay, okay. I got it. I have to go back. They're okay. going inside. Okay, okay. okay. Answer my call. Okay, I will. I will. I will. I will. Oh my goodness. Okay, shares. Everyone smash the like button right now. Katie just came up with a plan Everybody to get out of here. Everybody smash the like I button. I cannot believe this. We are going to break my friend out of jail. This is absolutely crazy. And wouldn't this be a crime in itself? Like, breaking, you're filming yourself theoretically breaking someone out of prison, which would make you an accomplice to a crime and as well put you in jail. I cannot believe this is happening. Normally, though, I wouldn't yeah. do this, but it's because she got illegally detained for trespassing, even though she was invited over to my house. Oh my goodness, okay. Stand by, let's see. Hey, Siri, make sure my volume is all the way up. Okay, Siri is turned all the way up. I'm gonna keep the phone. I on. also don't think you would get thrown in prison for trespassing. Trespassing is more of a fine-based crime than you getting thrown in a penitentiary for stepping on someone's property. Okay, I gotta get back to the golf cart. We gotta get home. I gotta get supplies, undercover disguise. I gotta get ready to meet Katie at the South Gate for when she calls. Remember, Sharers, when you're in jail, you get one phone call. So she has one chance to make this phone call. So I gotta make sure I am completely ready for when she calls my iPhone. Okay, let's turn this thing on. On, on, on. Golf cart on. Let's go. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go! We don't have much time, we don't have much time. Come on, come on, come on. Dude, we gotta get her stuff to stay undercover. Alexa is not here, which is good. I don't know where Alexa- Why does he have so many fucking beds? Why does he have four fucking beds? Dude, the people that are telling me to call it, like, actually just stop. Like, I'm not calling it. I'm not- I, I already said I'm not calling it. You can type call it for the rest of the stream. I'm not gonna call it. So went. But it looks like she organized all the merch here, which is absolutely perfect. We have all the brand new merch. Oh my goodness, all the share the love shirts. Brand oh, little new. little merch shout out. Little share the love. In every color, in every little size. Steven it looks share, share the love, share the love. So good. And I think this will be the perfect undercover outfit for Katie. So just like ordering merch from the official merch store, StevenShare.com, I'm going to do it for Katie. So let's see. What shirt's going to look the best for Katie? I think this tie-dye Share the Love shirt's going to look so good. Oh, yeah. Check that out. That looks great. We'll throw it in the Share the Love bag right here. And then to stay completely hidden. Oh, my cover. God. This is literally a merch shout out. Four minutes to talk. <gasps> Katie, hey. Oh, my God. They're acting like they're in prison. This is a pay phone. 
This is a payphone that probably doesn't even work anymore because no one uses fucking payphones anymore. I only have four minutes to talk. Katie, hey, what's going on? Prison is so horrible. You need to break me out today. There's no other option. Okay, I'm listening. Did you get all of the undercover clothes? They have to be undercover. I can't have anybody noticing me. Yes, I just finished putting your disguise together. It's going to be absolutely perfect. You're absolutely going to love it. Nobody's going to be able to tell that you're an escaped prisoner. Meet me at the Southgate at exactly 2 p.m., okay? It can't be any earlier, any later. This is the worst video ever. This is the worst video ever. Go, let's go, let's go. Take the Tesla. I oh, know that's gonna be too obvious. Take the spot wagon. Oh, it's reflecting really good today. Those colors look really good. So that's gonna be, be way too obvious. Let's take the golf cart. Let's go, let's go, let's yeah, go. Yeah, a little quick flex of every car you've bought with your YouTube views. Little quick flex. Oh, do I take my Tesla, my McLaren, my Lamborghini, uh, the golf cart, or this? Yeah, what a great getaway vehicle. You're gonna choose the golf cart. The fucking 20 mile per hour golf cart as your fucking prison break get out of fucking jail vehicle come on throw that in we gotta go come on back this thing up come on come on come on come on come on we don't have much time to this. we do not have much time this has to go to plan if we don't get kitty out i don't know what's gonna happen to her go 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 okay shares we are pulling up to the prison yard right now oh by the way check this out look at that is that a fire marshal card that's really cool but that's not part of it we gotta go find katie okay oh i see the prisoners right now i see the prisoners i repeat i see the prisoners right now quick we're gonna park right in here okay this is perfect this is perfect this is perfect okay let's see let's see i see the prisoners i repeat i see the prisoners they're all they're at a tennis court, and that fence is three feet tall. That fence is three feet tall. They could theoretically just jump over the fucking fence. What the fuck? The basketball court right now. Hang that out. is a basketball court. That Yeah, prisons have basketball courts, but not a three-foot fence that you could jump over. South entrance. All right, Katie looks really sad, so we got to get her out in no time. Okay, we don't have much time for this. Let's see. Okay. Katie! Katie! Katie, over here! Shh, I'm here. Shh, shh, shh. Don't escape. Is she yet. gonna act like she can't jump the fence? Is she gonna act like she 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 doesn't have the fucking capabilities to hop over a fence that is half her height? Just wait for my call. Yeah. Hey. I'm gonna try to get you out. Give me a second. Go back to acting like you're out there. Okay. What happened for 30 minutes a day? What happened for 30 minutes a day? You're not allowed to go out. I thought they get 30 minutes. 30 minutes a day. 30 minutes a day. Uh, isn't that a prison-based rule, how long they're outside? Some prisons, they'll go outside for multiple times. Wait, did I say fence or friends? I said friends. Shut up. Did I? Did they say friends or did I say fence or friends? Okay. Katie spotted us. She knows that I'm here. Okay, I gotta somehow figure out You how said friends. I said friends. Okay, let me get this undercover bag ready. Put this Saw you on the Chuckle right Sandwich. Best, pod, uh, best episode ever. Thanks. Uh, congrats on a million. Thank you. And let me just pretend I'm going for a walk real quick. Put some sunglasses on. We're going to go for a walk. Let me give her the rundown real quick. Here we go. Okay. I'm on my yeah, own. Yeah, what a great disguise, Steven. Breaking somebody out of jail with your own merch line and you're not even fucking covering your face. You're wearing your own fucking clothing of which your website is your fucking name. Like they wouldn't find you. Camera now. Okay. It's going to walk by. Act like nothing's going on. Here we go. Katie. Yeah, and it's daytime. Katie, don't escape just yet. I'm gonna pretend I'm tying my shoe. You're Listen. wearing Crocs, though. I'm wearing Crocs. I know. I'm putting them into the sport mode. Okay, go, go, go. Listen, Katie. The golf cart is right over there by the bushes. Do you see it? Right I over see there. It. I see okay. it. Okay. When I yell banana, you are going to jump this fence and you're going to run to that golf cart. Okay. And we are going to take off. Uh, the the fence isn't electric anymore. Get out of here. Okay, I think I can do it. All right, Katie. I'm going back to the golf cart. Are you, you ready? my undercover clothes? I got your undercover clothes. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, you ready, Katie? Ready? All right. Three? No, not yet, Katie. Why? Why? Go back to your stance. I need to get back to the golf cart and get ready to pull away. Okay, where do you want me to wait? I'm going to pull up right there. When this I is up, actually so bad. This is actually so bad. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, Katie is ready. I repeat, Katie is We're ready. We're too far in. I we got to finish it. Got her undercover disguise clothes in the share of the love bag. Okay, here we go. Everyone smash the like button. We are about to break Katie out. Bro, 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 bro. You've told me to smash the like button five times. Prison. Golf cart on. Reverse going. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Everything is going to go by really quick. We got to go. We got to go. We got to go. We are doing this. We are doing this. We are doing this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Get ready for this. Oh, there she is. There she is. I repeat. There she is. Okay, get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Okay, You're going the wrong way. You're going on a one way. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Get ready for this. Oh, there she is. There she is. 
I repeat. There's there literally arrows, and it says only this way. You are going the opposite way of the road. She is. Okay, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Banana, banana, banana. Come on, Kitty. Come on. Go, 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 go. Yes, come on, Kitty. You got oh, my this. God. You got to jump the fence yeah, faster Kitty, than on, that. Come on, come on. Hop in, hop in, hop in. We got to go. We got to go. We got to go. We got to go. Hop in, hop in, hop in. Let's go. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, let's film them breaking out of prison. <laughs> let's go. We did it. 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 We're out of okay. They can't see me in these clothes. You're right. You're right. You're right. Oh, my goodness. I'm going the wrong way. We got to make a U turn. I got to go the right way. Oh, hurry, hurry. Oh, no. oh, my God. Oh, my God. They're just playing okay, sounds. Quick, quick. No cops are after you. You're just playing a fucking sound. Chuck, start changing into your outfit. Quick, 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 quick. I'm going to pull up, up here. You're going to jump into these bushes, and you're going to change into your outfit real quick. Okay? Smiley for the three. Yo, I made the stick video. Vi I made the stick figure video on why depression's rising. Glad you liked it. Just checked. Uh, channel got subs. Yeah, massive dub, bro. That was a good video. Boaz for the 500 bits. How did you like my twin joke? I want to make a joke at least once every stream. Have a nice day. Where I'm from, it's night now, so I have a good sleep. So I have to go to sleep. Have a nice stream again. Sorry for asking for VIP that one time. Bro, you're fine. Uh, thank you for the five bits and uh, W joke. Uh, have a nice sleep, I guess. Cover this guy's outfit. That way the cops won't know. Perfect. There's bushes right there. Quick, hop okay. into those bushes and change. Go, 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 go. Go, Katie, go. Quick, change, change, change. You gotta get it out of that prisoner uniform. Go, 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 go. Oh my goodness. Okay, the cops are about to come. If I'm caught with Katie in her prisoner uniform, they're gonna know I helped her escape. Hurry, right, Katie, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Sirens are coming. This is not good. This is not good. Oh. You are in the, like, richest fucking neighborhood in your city. No cops are coming. There is no one fucking there. Oh my goodness. Come on, come on, come on. What is this? I said undercover. What? That looks great. It looks great, but it's not undercover. They're... It looks great, but at StephenShare.com. It's found you so easily. Katie, it's Share the Love merch and it's almost sold out. It's almost sold out. Almost sold out. Not fucking sold out at all. There's no shot that shit is almost sold out. Zero chance. Zero Publishes, chance. Yeah. That is a fucking marketing scheme to say that something's almost sold out to get people to buy it. It makes them rush. And make bad decisions rather than you just fucking saying that it's merch that's out for fucking sale. Saying so, oh, it's almost sold out. Oh, uh, only, only a hundred left. There's always a hundred left. I haven't got your merch. Head on over to stevensherrod.com. Get your merch. Oh my God. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God. Right now. There's a cop coming right now. We gotta go. Go, go, go. Yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on. We gotta go. We gotta go back to the house. I have just a spot to hide. Hurry, oh my hurry. goodness. Oh my goodness. I hear the siren. Okay, just act normal. We're getting out of prison. Oh, no. Oh, we gotta God. go. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I Let's can't go. go back to prison, Stephen. No. I can't. No, Katie, you can't. Orange did not look good on you. Hey. Okay, what? I can say that. You did say it. I'm just repeating it. Uh, whatever. You're right. It did not look good on me. I can't go back. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Could. You can't go back to prison. Let me guess. You get caught. Oh, wait. No. Then it goes. Oh, no, now it's picking up where the other video we left off was. This is where the video that we watched the other day was. Feels really good. No, but it does feel really Now they're hiding under, now they're hiding under there, and then the next video starts. So they film, like, seven videos in a fucking day, and then just don't film for, like, a month. Oh, he ha he released a new music video. Should we watch it? It's called Flex. It came out yesterday. Steven Sharer Flex official music video. Gray for the sub. Yeah, yeah. Uh, share the love. Now let me see ya. Uh, flex it, flex it, flex it. Flex it, flex it, flex it. Now let me see you flex. Like you just done a hundred reps. Go on and show them how you flex it, flex it, flex it. Yeah, flex it. This is like, this is like the hardcore music they play at Bible camp. Yeah, everybody ready to get lit? Flex it. Now, baby, let me see you flex. Yeah. Like you just done a hundred reps. Yeah. Go on and show them how you flex it. Flex it. Flex it. Yeah. Flex it. Flex it. Go and do it to them. Walk up in the gym, make your girlfriend stare. Boom. I ain't like the rest. Yeah, my form is rare. rare. Yeah, I'm grinding all day. Yeah, I'm all about these games. Are they dating or are they brother and sister? Or are they just friends? Jay's in for the sub. Flex. Yeah, great gym playlist here. This is gonna be my this is, when I'm when I'm repping out a deadlift max. This is the song I'm gonna be playing. 
This is the song I'm gonna be playing. I'm gonna be blasting this in my fucking ears. Just, just full sound. I'm on that bench and they all watch me press. My press be popping when I'm working on my chest. Big as my ego, all she's a veto. These guns are ready for a sweet show. Now don't be shy, you know you're fine. It's time to see you work it out, cause that's the vibe. We feel the floss, we going boss. But like, none of his videos have to do with working out. So what motivated Steven Cher to make this music video? This motivates me to hit the gym. Okay, Chad Wild Clay. My girls have been waiting for this all summer. They loved it. And way to represent a plus-size girl, too. I am really proud of you, Steven. Keep grinding. This song really wants me to make... I have, we haven't watched the rest of the video, so I haven't seen anything. You know you gotta take your shot and show it all. Now let me see you flex. Yeah. Like you just done a hundred reps. Go on and show them how you flex it, flex it, flex it, yeah, flex it. Dude, this is awful. Dude, it's literally the same, it's the same fucking chorus. Like, there is no music. You know how a song has a chorus? You know how a song has a chorus and then it goes to, like, some lyrics and then it goes back to a chorus? Steven Scherer's music is just chorus. Just, just chorus. Everybody's saying they know who Chad is. Who the fuck is Chad? Chad Wild Clay? Oh, God. This looks literally like Steven Scherer. My new house is huge, but there's one problem. Spy ninjas are oh, he calls his fans spy ninjas? Spy ninjas, our enemy, stole our house from us. We're going to take control of their warehouse. We've been home. Oh, no, it's a graphic novel. He made a graphic novel. And they sold my merch, all my clothes. They took my guitar. I can't even make music anymore. And all my ninja weapons are inside that house. We're going to barge in here right now. And we're going to take this as our own. This is gonna This is looking for the deed right now. <laughs> I don't try to trick me. Dude. Dude. I'm subbed to him. I'm subbed to this guy. I am. <gasps> It's because, dude, I have one of his videos in my watch later. Which one is it? Which one is it? Nah, I'm not going to watch that today. I only can hold enough cringe for one day. There's a video that somebody sent in the watch later. Should we watch him one day, chat? You're saying exposed, like I watch Chad Wild Clay. Like I love Chad Wild Clay. My favorite YouTuber, chat. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, I watch all of his videos. It's not like you can't see any of the videos that I've ever... I've never watched any of his videos. I sub to anybody that I react to almost. I fucking sub to Samir Bavnani. Salt for the three bits. Took your advice, quit at Texas Roadhouse, bro. Stop. Go back a few years. Oh, yeah, for sure. I still don't watch any of his things. His old videos are better. Should I react to one of them one day? Uh, I don't know. If you guys have a Chad Wild Clay video you want me to react to, send it in the Discord. Next video Why male puberty actually sucks. Can't wait for this. This is a uh, this is an anticipated video. Well, down there, some facts of male. What? Oh, I didn't. Random erections, a plague of acne, and discoloration of well, down there. Some oh. facts of male puberty are absolutely weird. One of the strangest and messiest parts about male puberty occurs while the male is fast asleep. It's during this time that wet dreams can happen. The reason for these unwanted nocturnal ejaculations is pretty surprising. In Ew. fact, wet dreams have more to do with what's being produced in the body than what the male is actually dreaming about. If you didn't know it already, it's completely normal for males to ejaculate in their sleep. There doesn't need to be any kind of physical stimulation, and wet dreams are not necessarily- Oh god, this is like I'm back in health class. Jesus Christ. ...caused by dreams about sex. This isn't completely clear why males going through puberty have wet dreams, but it's theorized that they occur due to the balancing of hormones and the development of different parts of the brain and genitalia. The crazy thing is that even after puberty, males can still experience wet dreams. It's much less common, but- No way they fucking made that. No way whoever the fuck animated that. No way they fucking animated that, bro. Crusty for the sub. It can still occur. Some researchers suggest that having frequent orgasms during the waking hours will reduce the amount of wet dreams. This is a fancy way of saying 
More masturbation reduces the number of wet dreams someone might have. Other research suggests that wet dreams are just a coping mechanism to help males deal with this stressful time in their lives. This is because during wet dreams, and any time a male orgasms, dopamine and other pleasure chemicals are released into the brain. Sticking with the genitalia for a moment, males who are not circumcised may find a unique ability develops during this time. Uncircumcised males have a flap of skin that covers the head of the penis called a Ew! No, stop! Why are we going so in depth? Oh my god! Foreskin. As a young male, the foreskin does not retract on its own, but after puberty, all that changes. During puberty, the foreskin becomes. Oh no! Oh no! Should we watch this? I don't know if I can watch this. This is like a challenge. This is like a challenge. Jesus Christ. And the penis becomes larger. This is mostly due to make procreation easier. But as a result, the foreskin is now retractable. One reason this new ability develops may be to ensure that when the male ejaculates, there is nothing impending the sperm from entering the female. And this leads us to one of the most awkward things that can happen to males during puberty, the curse of the unexpected erection. For you oh! Oh my Man, god! It seems that there is no rhyme or reason for when arousal occurs. It's not TOS. People don't know what TOS is. Literally, I swear to god, people don't know what TOS is. Every, I'd say 90% of Twitch chatters that type TOS don't even know what it stands for. There can be obvious why a male going through puberty gets an erection, like when they're around someone they find attractive, but other times it's a mystery. In fact, getting an erection during puberty does not normally mean- That, that was the worst. That was the worst. Are we gonna have a TMI here? Like, dude. Dude, when you were in, like, middle school, it was over, bro. It was over. The worst. The worst. All, all the time, just randomly, dude. Was so uncomfortable. Puberty sucked. Puberty fucking sucked. What years do you even go? Like, am I done? Am I done puberty? Am I done puberty? I don't even know. Because I'm 20. When does When is puberty for men? Because it varies. You start puberty between 9 and 14, and then it lasts for, like, five years. So, yeah, I would be done puberty. But, like, Jesus Christ. Now, that shit sucks. The male is thinking about... The acne, I would say, is the worst. Do you guys, did you guys get really bad acne? Or if you are going through puberty, you probably have really bad acne. That was the worst. I used to have facial acne. It was fucking terrible. But sex at all. Erections can occur rather unexpectedly because of a sudden surge of testosterone in the body. That is why I'm the the cool thing about puberty though was was like how fast you gain muscle. Like when you would when when you would lift, like when I would lift like starting my freshman year, dude, I got so much muscle so fast and then it just stops because like you kind of like even out. But like it was nuts. Like I gained like the 20 pounds of muscle in a year. Like no lie. Just from lifting. Scarecore for the Thrones bets. Finally got home from the mall. Just now, what did I miss? Everything. A male going through puberty may be in the middle of a lecture on the Pythagorean theorem and just end up with an erection. It's not that the male finds the Pythagorean theorem sexy. It's just that the hormones in their body are all out of whack due to the changes they're going through. Before a male even begins to go through his growth spurt in height, he goes through a growth spurt in his testes. One of the first things that happens in males during a puberty... <laughs> Not the growth spurt in the testes. ...is their testicle size increases. This growth occurs because the testes are where testosterone is produced, and males need a lot of this... Yeah, you ever hear uh, in medieval times they used to chop uh, choir, choir people's nuts off so they could sing higher. Like in, in old, old medieval times, male choir students or male choir like singers, they would before they even hit puberty, they would chop their nuts off. So their voice would stay high pitched because as you gain testosterone, your voice can deepen and it changes you like drastically. So they would they would chop your nuts off in medieval times. No lie. It's a thing. I'll Google it. I can't show it, but I'll Google it. Did they chop people's nuts off in medieval times for singing? I'm almost sure they did. Yeah, they castrated people in medieval times at the age of nine to keep their voices higher. If they were chosen to be a choir student at nine years old, they would get their nuts chopped off. Wow. Hey, Joe, I'm 13, 5, 6, 135, and so fat, I want to die. How do I tell my mom I want to lift in a year or two? You can start lifting now. We're just doing cardio now. You can do it whenever. 
As long as you're not doing like extreme overhead uh, press, you're you're not going to stunt your growth. Um, so you could feasibly start working out whenever you want. You don't have to go to a gym. You could start with calisthenics and just base cardio. Get a gym membership later on. It's hormone to undergo the rest of the changes associated with puberty. With the growth of the testes, more testosterone can be produced, and the male can start his awkward journey into becoming a man. Soon after the testes start to grow, the penis will follow. The time between these two sex organs growing can vary. Hold up, hold up. Might have to fast forward if they show something here. Nope, they showed a banana. But at some point, both the testicles... I'm leaving stream. Understandable. We'll see you. You can leave the stream, come back in literally four minutes. And the penis will become larger. And the genitalia are not the only Funk part of the, the body that grows. Surprisingly, many males find that their breasts also increase in size. During Did you guys ever have rock nipples? I swear to God, if this is a relatable thing here. Did you guys ever have rock nipples? No, it's not a thing that all guys go through. I had rock nipples. What that means... What that means is when I... Like, when you start puberty, like, your nipples are, like, squishy. <laughs> but, like, if you're a guy, a lot of guys get what's called a rock nipple. And it, like, hurts. And it's, like... It, it feels like a rock inside of your nipple. And then it just goes away. Randomly. Like, one day. Just goes away. You'll have it for, like, a month. And it'll go away. Whenever I had a pitch tent before a presentation, I would tuck the thing in between my legs and hold it there. What would you walk? You would tuck it in between your legs? So if you had to walk up for a presentation, you would just go... Like, you would waddle? Like, you would penguin waddle? Uh, up to up to the area. Puberty, oh, some males experience growth in their chest. Oh, God, this the waistband tuck? Well, that's the most common. Swelling eventually oh, God, slows God, God. down and the chest returns to normal size. It's the same with girls? Well, see, I don't know that. I just know in mo my own personal experience, when I was going through puberty, I had rock nipples. Goes on. The enlargement of the breasts occurs in about two-thirds of males going through puberty, so it's more common than not. It's unclear why the male's chest needs to increase in size, but a side effect of the swelling is more sensitivity in the region. Many males find that an increased sensitivity occurs in other parts of the body during puberty as well, including the brain. Males go through mood swings during puberty due to the flood of hormones surging through their bodies. There are measurable changes that occur in the brain during the time of life in both males and females. Did you guys experience mood swings? I don't know, maybe like angry. Obviously, there are many differences between what the two sexes go through, but there are similarities as well. Both male and female brain composition changes during puberty. Yet I'm, I'm 13 and I haven't hit puberty yet. Any reasons why? I am not trying to give people a fucking health lesson here. I was shown this video and reacted to it. Uh, so I'm not giving you advice on puberty. I'm just watching this video and moving on. Um, <laughs> generally speaking, uh, it's just genetics. It's when you hit it comparable to somebody else. Duct tape that sucker down before a presentation just to be safe. Oh my god. We hit a million? No, we didn't. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Not during the puberty video. We hit a million during the puberty video? Oh, did we really? Video. Wait, why we does it say... During the puberty video? Why does it say a thousand K? Wait, why does it say... We hit a thousand K followers, chat! Woo! Woo! A thousand K or a million, same fucking thing. Woo! Woo! Yeah, that's a dub. That's a dub. W in the chat for the million followers. Thank you for that chat. Orange for the three. It's Trey for the three bets. It doesn't happen to girls because they grow breasts. Well, bro, I, I'm not, I don't know. Uh, W in the chat though. We'll do a we'll do a million follower Twitch celebration soon enough. Uh, I gotta figure out what I'm doing for the YouTube one because I hit them almost the same time. I hit the YouTube one earlier, so we're gonna do the video for that first. Uh, but after, uh, we'll probably do something decently soon for um the Twitch one. I'll talk to you guys about it over the next few days. Come up with what we want to do exactly, uh, and then we'll go from there. Uh, but dub, why does it say a thousand K? Why does it say a thousand K? 
That's very odd. I feel like it's just it, it's a, like a non-updated thing yet. It literally says a thousand K followers. That's fucking hilarious. All right, next video. Or no. yeah, they tend to should we watch the rest of this video chat? Change in different ways. In one study, should we, we skip this? Researchers measured the changes in the brains of 300 young adults going through puberty. The study consisted of 150 males and 150 females. The researchers focused on the regions I'm getting of the a lot brain of yeses that are associated and with mood fluctuations and emotional control that may be responsible for certain illnesses such as depression. What they found was very interesting. The researchers discovered that the regions of the brain connected to the mental and emotional illnesses increased in connectivity by about 6.5% in males. The same regions in the females' brains decreased by around 7.2%. This data suggests that there are some key differences in the way female and male brains develop during puberty, but it also might be an indication that females are more resilient to mood disorders than men. You know, pre-puberty, women are genetically stronger than men. That's why if you, if you were in elementary school and you did something athletic or arm wrestled a woman or something, they would beat you. Uh, women are stronger than men before puberty. After it, it, it starts like, like, say this is women and this is men. Like, women are decently stronger than men, and then it flip-flops. You're saying cap? Um, are women stronger than men before puberty? Um, hold up. Are women stronger than men in terms of... Are women stronger than boys in terms of physical strength? Before puberty, girls and boys are much closer in strength, so variation might mean that a stronger woman is very likely. Afterwards, it flips towards men. But uh, women can be stronger than men, uh, for sure. Uh, Pre-puberty. Post-puberty, I mean, they still can, but the odds of it are unlikely just because men have more testosterone. That's why I folded my elementary school bully 10 years later. Stupid bitch Haley. A woman named Haley bullied you when you were in elementary school? <laughs> J-Man for the 1,100 bits. Uh, Joe, congrats on 1,000K followers. You did it. I hope you're having a good Sunday. Thank you, Toop, for the three. Congrats on a mill on Twitch. I can't say I'm an OG, but you're my favorite streamer, and you deserve it. Keep up the streams and shit. Thank you. And Benny for the sub. Massive dub. Massive dub. Massive dub in the chat uh, for the million on Twitch. Didn't really expect to hit it. Uh, today. I didn't even know that we were that close. I thought we were still at like 995 or something. Because usually I'll get like a million. Uh, dude, why does it keep giving me a fucking Windows message? Okay. Continuing. Males while going through this period of life. Benny for the However, much more research needs to be done. Before it's Trey for the three bets. If you think about get playing high on life, you should play Trevor saves the world. It's a puzzle game and has good commentary. Let me write it down. High on life and Trover saves the world. Trover. Trover. I'll write it down. Censoros for the sub. Where a final conclusion can be made. An obvious change that males go through during puberty is the lowering of their voices. But what is crazy about this process has That's more cap. to do with That's what fucking cap. I wish I had a lower voice. It, I have a high I have a decently high pitched voice. I wouldn't say it's bad, but like it, it's pretty high. Like in how I talk really fast. Like if I'm just having wait, hold up. If I'm just having a regular conversation, I will talk like this. But if I'm on stream, I'll talk like this. Because it's faster. It's higher pitched, but I don't really have a high pitched voice. I wish I did. I or not a not a high pitched voice, a low pitched voice. React to Cricky Diver on TikTok. Scroll to his older videos, dude. You told me to do this the other day. I'm not doing it right now. What's happening to the body? Then the changing of tag the voice. me in the videos. If I see him, I'll react to him. Itself. As a male goes through puberty, testosterone is dumped into their bloodstream. I looked at it. I looked at his TikTok the other day when you told me to do it. Carried around the body by the cardiovascular system. The testosterone signals the voice box to go through changes to allow the voice to I am 12, and people think on video games that I'm 26. <sighs> Dude. That's blatantly cap. That there's, there's no... That's like that's like that over... Anybody remember when you were in middle school and you would force, force your voice to be deeper? And you'd be like, yeah. 
Yeah. No, 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 for sure. That's pretty normal. Yeah, that's how you're... No, no fucking shot. Also, yeah, my mods banned you because you're too young to use Twitch. Um, so submit an unban appeal when you are 13 because TOS requires you to be 13 to use Twitch. And then I'll unban you. Spirit for the sub. ...become lower and deeper. This happens due to the cartilage in the voice box growing in size. How old do you have to be to use Twitch? 13. ...in thickness. With larger vocal cords and more space for them to vibrate in, the pitch of the voice becomes lower. During puberty, the larynx itself starts to move down and the Adam's apple begins to protrude from the neck. Dude, I got a fucking thick-ass Adam's apple. Do y'all see that shit? Let me give a swallow check. That shit is massive. Why is my Adam's apple so fucking big? At the same time, the bones of the face begin to grow larger as well. All of this new space... Is that abnormal? Are y'all's are y'all's Adam's apples that big? I also cut myself shaving the other day. Ow. I don't know. I don't think that's normal. Increased size of the voice box allow the male voice to resonate at a lower frequency. But there's a then why is my voice high pitch? Why is I mean it's not high pitch, but why is it fucking not deep? If I got a fucking thick ass Adam's apple. Weird side effect that occurs because of this process. It's the growth and shifting of structures in the area of the body that causes the embarrassing voice cracking that some males go through during puberty. Since the voice box, vocal cords, oh, and skeletal structure. Oh, that's the worst. When you get when you hit that voice crack in like your mid argument and you go, eh, your friends make fun of you. You're like, that's not true, you fucking bitch. That's not true, you fucking bitch. Bitch. <laughs> Self is changing. The brain needs to adjust to produce the proper sounds. Unfortunately, Dude, my voice will still crack sometimes now. I, I didn't really have a, 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 a long voice crack when I was younger. Like, even through puberty. But, like, it'll every so often I'll be, like, filming a TikTok and it'll go, eh. Since this is all new to the, the log for the 300 bits. Fight Max Taylor, maybe. Mistakes happen. Sometimes too much air is pushed through the larynx, causing the voice to crack. This is no fault of the male. It's just a strange side effect of them going through puberty. And just as a side note, human males are not the only animal that goes through a voice shift during puberty. Male apes and other animals also develop lower sound ranges as well. It's not entirely clear why males need to develop a lower register, but some evolutionary biologists believe that it has to do with attracting a mate after puberty. Wait, I already have a girlfriend. I'm chilling. Fuck for you guys. Sucks to suck. My girlfriend doesn't care that I have a high-pitched voice. A male cannot successfully reproduce until puberty begins because this is when the sperm production starts. Therefore, in both humans and other animals, the change in voice may be a signal to females that the male is now sexually maturing and ready for procreation. Do the lip thing with my camera. Oh, you guys haven't... I haven't done this in forever. It gets real. Doesn't it look weird as fuck? It, I, I don't know if you guys see how I do it. It's because it, it's the same thing with like a fidget spinner. I wish I had a fidget spinner on me because it's like it, the camera can't catch it. And so in, in real life, like you see it at, at past 60 FPS. You can see it like normally, but on camera, it like waves. Weird fact that doesn't have so much to do with what's happening. It like puberty, glitches. But when puberty occurs in males, everyone's different. This means that every male will have a slightly varied experience during this time in life. Some males will start puberty as young as eight years old, while others won't go through it until sometime after 14. Most males begin the process somewhere in the middle. There's the answer to that kid's question of this range but the exact age at which puberty starts can differ widely the weird thing is that puberty how do you even know when i don't even know when i hit puberty how do you know when you hit puberty like what like how do you know getting to occur in males as a younger and younger age researchers found that as the 20th century progressed the average age a boy went through puberty started to shift interestingly this isn't just happening in males but in females as well that's why people look older today than they did back then um, just because people are hitting puberty earlier. Like, in, like, the 1800s, a 20-year-old looked, like, 15 now. Uh, people just look different. People age different. Uh, people hit puberty quicker.
Some researchers have claimed on that, average, not always. That this may be a result of exposure to certain synthetic chemicals that infuse. Yeah, it's what we eat. It's the shit we eat. If you eat a lot of processed foods, uh, you, you'll probably hit puberty faster. Body regulates. Not always, but that's just like how I think it is. Hormones. If the chemicals are causing testosterone and estrogen to be produced and released at an earlier age, this could be one explanation for why males and females are going through puberty younger than before. Other researchers attribute this shift to biological factors. It has been proposed that the higher levels of stress associated with living in developing cities or a fast-paced society... Wow! May... Being in a higher stress environment makes you hit puberty earlier. ...cause the endocrine system, which produces hormones Nine for to get out of whack. It also has been suggested that childhood obesity may throw off the hormone regulation in a young person's body, which may result in puberty occurring at a younger age as well. A final theory about why this strange shift is happening has to do with living conditions. The consumption of less nutritious foods may result in the body undergoing puberty at an earlier age. This may be occurring in communities that don't have access to healthy foods or the resources they need. This is no fault of the communities themselves, but as a result of society that places more importance on some populations than others. In areas that are considered food deserts, families may have to travel hours to purchase fresh fruit and vegetables, while less nutritious and more artificial- I don't give a fuck. I'll eat artificial fruits. Fuck. Fuck organic food. I will go to the goddamn local grocery store and I'm gonna eat that shit that has pesticides on it, because I'm a fucking tank that bitch like it's fucking nothing. I'll eat the fucking chemicals, okay? I don't care. The apple's fucking four times cheaper. I'm gonna eat that shit. Foods may be all that's available. I understand organic foods better, uh, but I'm a fucking I'm a fucking eat those GMO bitches, okay? I'm gonna eat those GMO bitches that have fucking ammonia on those apples, and I'm not gonna wash the apple because I'm a fucking menace. I will I I am a fucking menace. I will go I will go to a grocery store. I will buy an apple, and I will fucking eat that bitch the second I get out of there after it was just on the fucking conveyor belt with all that fucking dirt and bacteria and fucking pesticides. I don't give two fucks. I will chow that bitch down like a fucking McDonald's Happy Meal. Close to home. Other than when it happens, there are further differences that occur between males during puberty. All male genitalia is slightly different. This goes for size, shape, curve, and even the rate at which they develop. But one really weird thing that happens to a male during puberty is that the color of his genitalia might change slightly. That's what? right. During puberty, the penis and scrotum not only change in size, but in coloration as well. Normally when this happens, the genitals become slightly darker. It's not clear why this is, but most likely has to do with slight changes in the pigmentation produced by the cells during puberty. This doesn't seem to be any benefit or harm to the changing color of the penis and scrotum, but it's definitely weird. Finally, we are reaching one of the uglier parts of puberty, acne. Some males are plagued by That's the worst. I genuinely think the worst part of puberty is acne. I used to have really bad chin and forehead acne. Now I don't really get pimples that often. I'll get pimples every once in a while. I don't even chat. Do you guys do you guys do this is a message for the men, okay? Cuz I know I know I know how the women are probably going to answer this. Uh just because women are better at hygiene generally. Do you guys wash your face with a face wash? Fuck no. Fuck no. I go in the shower. I don't even I don't even use moisturizer. Do you guys use moisturizer? Fuck no. I go I go into the shower. I hit him with one of these. I go under the I I go under the fucking shower head and I go and then I get out. <laughs> and that's that's how I wash my face. Do you guys use moisturizer? Fuck no. Fuck no, I don't use moisturizer. And I know that's going to make me wrinkle faster and I couldn't give two shits and I couldn't give two fucks. I don't care. I don't care. Uh I have never cared. I'm too lazy to spend the time out of my day to rub some fucking moisturizer and smush it on my face and then feel uncomfortable for a minute as it fucking sets in. No. ...amounts of pimples during this stage of life. But why is this? The main reason males and females develop acne during puberty years is because the body produces massive amounts of a sex hormone called androgens. The side effect of this hormone is that the body produces more oils. These oils in turn clog the pores of the skin, while simultaneously providing a source of food for bacteria causing acne. So the weirdest part about this whole thing is the acne is really a result of the body feeding bacteria its own dead skin cells. The only acne that I can't get rid of is blackheads on my nose. Do you guys have blackheads on your nose? Dude, like all over. Like all over my fucking nose. All over it. 
and oils. Gross, right? And it'll never now go away. Watch even weirder facts about the male body, or check out weird facts about testicles. What? Weird facts about testicles? Weird facts about testicles. That might be a video for me. That might be a video I want to see. All right, two more videos. CEOs now warn that getting a degree is a waste of time. Uh, the log for the 300 bits. Have you ever kissed Max Taylor? I've never even met him in real life. Bode for the sub. Elon Musk recently tweeted that he's considering creating a new university with a rude name. Texas Institute of Technology and Science. This was most likely his- Tits. Tits. How's that a rude name? Idea of a joke. Yet he's been quite serious in his belief that today's university degrees are useless. You don't need college to learn, it, learn stuff, okay? Everything is available basically for free. He feels the main value of college. That is true. Is to that is true. That is genuinely true. Anything you could achieve at college, uh, you could probably you could probably learn online. It's more so you just need the degree. Test a student's resolve. Will they finish their annoying? Assignment? I think college is useful in some ways. Uh, I'm in college, um, but in other ways, it's not. It time, is overpriced. Rather than will they learn something from it? And then also, you probably want to hang around with a bunch of people your own age for a while instead of going right into the workforce. So I think colleges are basically for fun and to prove you can do your chores, but they're not for- You want to know my genuine take on college. College is a transition into adulthood. When you graduate high school, some people immediately go into adulthood, and some people take a transition of four years into adulthood, right? Uh, you're still an adult. You're still 18, uh, 18 to 22, but it's basically an ease into real life. If you go from high school to real life, you kind of do a jump. Whereas if you take the college route, um, you kind of get that ease in. Uh, I have kind of had a mixture because my job has nothing to do with college. Uh, so I had the jump in right into adulthood. But I also have that ease in in college. Um, and that's basically what it is. Uh, basically what it is. Learning. Legendary Silicon Valley investor and PayPal co-founder Peter Thiel thinks you should skip college altogether. He offers a fellowship of $100,000 for college students who drop out to start their own companies. What do we do with, with universities? What do you mean? We just try to get people out of them. We try to, you know, years ago I had this fantasy of starting a new university that would be sort of a better version, sort of a all-around good liberal arts education with less political correctness, less, you know, thought control. Teal believes higher education is actually a form of brainwashing. There are still obvious perks of going to university. Those with a bachelor's degree still earn $500 more a week than those who only graduated high school, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. However, Well, how much does that work out to be? If college bachelor's graduates make $500 more a week, on average, that ends up being $26,000 more a year. You just said 4K a year. Jesus Christ, you don't know math. However, <sighs> now there's a plan that could topple the ivory tower. Google made a huge announcement in the middle of the pandemic. It said it would beef up its online school, offering new courses in data analytics, project management, and user experience design, created and taught by Google employees in the related fields. These courses are not meant to supplement your university degree, but replace it. Google Senior Vice President of Public Affairs, Kent Walker, tweeted, In our own hiring, we will now treat these new career certificates as the equivalent of a four-year degree. I'm curious, okay? I'm curious. I'm going to do a poll here. I'm going to do a poll here. Are you going to college? Yes, no, or I have graduated slash am in college in it all right i want to see i want to see what people vote i i, I would because I, the majority of my chat is not old enough to go to college so i want to that applies to the yes or no but i also want to just see the people that are in college or have graduated as well um yeah like i feel like most americans kind of go to college or want to go to college um what I'll say is maybe it'll be for you, maybe it won't be for you. The average college uh, graduation rate across the United States, I believe, is 67%, which means that a third of college students drop out uh, or don't finish. Um, if you're not going to college, uh, don't sweat it. I mean, you could think of whether or not college is for you. You could go to a community college to make it cheaper. But I, I would say you got to figure that out down the line. I don't know. It depends. Uh, college is useful depending on what degree you're getting. If you're going to college to get a fucking 
uh, like base business degree and you're not going to use it, then it's not really useful. I'm going to college. If you really want an example from somebody who's going to college for something that's effectively useless. I was going to college for exercise science to be a physical therapist. When I started doing social media, I had the option of either dropping out or switching my major to something that was easier that I enjoyed. Uh, and I chose the latter. Uh, I am now a philosophy and religion major. I could use it for stream, but generally speaking, it's not, I'm not going to use it ever. I'm never going to get a job with my degree, right? Um, and so from a standpoint of somebody who genuinely is going to college for basically the wanting to learn philosophy, that is the only reason I'm in college is because I want to learn philosophy. Um, college is useful if you have a degree that is useful. Uh, if I wasn't doing social media, my philosophy and re religion degree would be useful for law. But if I wasn't doing that, it would probably be almost useless unless I was going to do a teaching degree. Uh, when there's other stuff, there's HR and other things that you can use philosophy and religion degrees for. But in broad, um, the degree as a whole has limited options. It's still very useful options. A lot of famous lawyers have philosophy degrees as well as other people that are in HR and Washington, D.C. jobs and stuff. But as a whole, you want to pick a degree that is useful. Uh, that you would also like. X XT for the sub. For related roles. Roles in high growth, high paying fields. In which Google says the Just think about it. Don't go in. Uh, it, something that I notice is a lot of people just say they want to go into business. Because they, when I was in high school, our teachers used to ask us every year, what do you want to do in college? And they would write out majors. And when they said fucking business, every fucking kid in the class would go, me, me. Uh, not knowing that there's different types of business majors, not knowing that half of business majors are fucking genuinely useless. Um, so yeah, uh, you gotta fucking find the right one. Average salary is $63,000 a year. I took business, I took marketing principles last year. It was the easiest, most useless fucking class I have ever learned. I know more about marketing as a social media influencer in two months than I learned in a paid marketing principles class in college. But then there's also classes like my social and political philosophy class, which actually provided a lot of info that I've used on stream and just in life in general. There's a lot of classes that are just genuinely fucking stupid and a lot of majors that are fucking stupid and should never be fucking used in college ever. Uh, and then there's ones that are just genuinely useful. Uh, so there, you got to find the right one. Walker wrote in a blog post that college degrees are out of reach for many Americans as they struggle to pay back student loans, whereas Google's six-month courses cost $234, the price of just university textbooks. Tuition in the U.S. has ballooned over the decades. Oh, yeah. Cost of oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tuition. Also, pick a right college. If you're going to college, don't be some dick. Don't be some fucking high horse asshole that picks some $60,000 a year fucking college because your parents are going to pay for it. And or, or you think you need to go to that university because of the degree. Uh, uh, a degree gets you your first job. After that, it's, ex ex it's experience. OK, so unless you're going to a fucking Ivy League, don't go to goddamn uh, Drexel. Uh, when you could go to somewhere else that's fucking half the price and probably is going to get you the same fucking job, right? You don't want to leave college with $400,000 in fucking debt at the age of 22. That is a terrible strat. You're going to be unlucky go next fucking five years from then because you're going to be in fucking massive debt that is inflating and actually getting more unless you pay it off. So be smart about it. Don't just fucking jump in and say, oh, I'm going to go to Harvard with no scholarship. And you're going to fucking pay $80,000 a year to go to the school. Fees, room, and board. If you get in. Four-year private university in America. Be smart. Don't fucking follow those. Those. I'm not trying to shit on AP students, okay? Because I took AP classes. But a lot of kids that get in the mindset in fucking high school that if they take all these APs, they're going to be fucking set and they're going to go to this high pristine college. And even if they don't get a fucking scholarship, they're going to be able to pay off their college loans when they have their fucking doctor degree. Newsflash, pal. Doctors make fucking shit salaries until like 10 years after their practice when they start making fucking massive bucks. And yeah, when you're then, when, when you're fucking 35, 40, you'll be rich as shit. But you don't want to fucking have fucking $400,000 of fucking debt hovering over you for 15 fucking years because that is the most stressful thing that you will ever go through. Joe Bart advice. Boom. Okay. 
is around $52,000 per academic year. The vast majority of the spending... College is expensive in the United States. If you live in the United States, you have to strategize what you're going to do if you're going to go to college. That's my fucking advice. College is useful, but you got to know what you're fucking doing. Don't just hop into a goddamn university that's $70,000 a year and expect that your life's going to fucking work out. Goes toward paying staff and... If your parents are paying for it, oh, bravo, okay? Then you don't got to deal with it, okay? But, it, like, at the end of the day, even if your parents are paying for it, don't go to a college and make them pay 70 grand a year. Go to a college that's like 30, okay, or 20, or 10. A lot of state schools are cheap. Community colleges are usually free for the first two years, or $1,000 a year. It's affordable. A lot of colleges are affordable. People disregard those colleges and just assume that you have to go to the fucking prestigious ones, when in reality, they don't really fucking matter most of the time. Faculty, according to The Atlantic. Despite having some of the most expensive tuition in the world, the U.S. lags far behind other developed nations in math and technology skills, more necessary than ever as our jobs are increasingly automated. The OECD studied the competency of adults around the world. That's not financial advice, by the way. This is not financial advice. I wouldn't even say it's counting as financial advice. It's college advice more so. Uh, not financial advice. Jared for the three hundred bets. I've been out of high school for a year, and I'm struggling to find out what I want to do, uh, so I work like 60 hours a week. Um, if you don't want to go to college, and you have a high school uh, degree, and you're working, I mean, you could climb the ladder of uh, business that you're in right now, or you could try and do something else. Like, there's a lot of options if you have a degree or you don't have a degree. Uh, I feel like people assume that if you don't go to college, there's nothing that you can do. That's not true. Uh, I mean, there's less, if you want me to be honest, if you have a college degree, you have more doors open, uh, even if the college degree is not in the field that you're applying to. Having a college degree is something that some jobs require, even if it's not in the field that you're working at. Uh, but there's still something that you could do. Allude for the 300 bets. Uh, I'm majoring in physical therapy. Any tips? Uh, do your shit fat as soon as you get it. Supreme for the sub. I was an exercise science student for a year. That shit sucked. Uh, I hated it. Uh, thank God I switched to fucking philosophy because that shit is way more fun. But I know that exercise science and PT is generally a guarantee that you're going to make money when you're older. So that's the appeal of it. Surveying 245,000 people in 39 countries. How did the U.S. fare? When it comes to solving problems with digital technology, the U.S. was in 18th spot. America fared wow. worse when it comes to math skills, sitting in 27th place. This suggests a mismatch between what people are currently taught We're at America, 27th place in math in schools and what skills are actually required in the real world. Tim Cook certainly feels that way. The Apple CEO thinks the one skill every kid in the U.S. should learn before they graduate high school is coding. No. Apple launched a program. No. Disagree. Hard disagree. Coding's fucking... Is coding... I have a friend that's, that's a coder and he's making good money out of college. Fuck that. It, it's it's so hard, so boring. Coding is ass. No one co you you gotta be a special you gotta be a special like brain set to to be good at coding and like it. One of my friends is great at coding and he enjoys it, and that's good for him. He's gonna make money on it, and but most people would fucking hate it. Most people would hate it. You're lucky if you like it. If you like coding, fucking pursue it because no one likes coding in 2016 designed to help students from kindergarten to university learn to code and also launched free coding courses for teachers so they can pass on their knowledge cook pointed out that in 2018 half of apple's american employees did not have a four-year degree his predecessor steve jobs famously dropped out of reed college after just one semester which i talked about in the previous video that i'll link in the description jobs was one of many smart guys who dropped out Mark Zuckerberg left Harvard during his sophomore year to work on Facebook. Sophomore year. Sophomore year. He d Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg dropped out of Harvard, but he also had Facebook in a shitload of money before he dropped out. Time. Or Bill money lined up. Bill Gates quit Harvard to focus on Microsoft. Daniel Ek left his engineering studies in Sweden after just eight weeks to co-found Spotify. Elon Musk has expressed his admiration for people who left school to start their own companies. In fact, ideally you dropped out and did something. He is technically a dropout himself, leaving his PhD program at Stanford after two days. He's been vocal about not- He still has a degree though. So Elon is not a college dropout for people. I understand he dropped out of PhD, 
school, but he has a degree. A Elon Musk degree. He has he has a college diploma. He went to UPenn and Stanford. Requiring a university education to work for him, reaffirming it when asked on Twitter. However, it's unclear how many people. Wait, what did he say? On not requiring college degrees. To work yes. for him, reaffirming it when asked on Twitter. However, it's unclear how many people Tesla has- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's what I'm going to say. Yeah, Elon Musk doesn't require a degree to work at fucking Tesla. However, a degree is probably going to get you the job comparable to somebody that just has experience. If you have a degree and experience versus just base experience and you're 22 versus some 26-year-old with a degree and massive amounts of experience, they're going to hire him. ...has actually hired without a university degree. I asked them, but they didn't respond. Tesla is looking to fill 10,000 jobs through 2022 for its Gigafactory in Austin. Some still require a degree. Others make no mention of one, including pretty good engineering jobs. They do require the ability to apply first principles thinking to your problem-solving approach. First principles is the practice of questioning everyday assumptions. For example, the assumption that batteries for electric cars are expensive, and that's just the way it is. First principles involve rethinking what you know, which is what allowed Tesla to build cheaper battery packs. Musk applied first principles reasoning to question how students should be taught. When he took his that is smart. kids out of private school and put them in a school he started. You're 300 followers away from one mil. Didn't we already hit it? Did I, did 300 people unfollow me? I thought we hit it. Yeah, it says we hit it in a corner of SpaceX's factory. This is video from his Ad Astra school provided to NewsThink. The school, which has since closed after his boys graduated, focused on critical thinking skills and even had a class on rocketry. So many super successful people believe there are better ways to learn than in a traditional classroom. Which brings me to the sponsor of my video, Skillshare. Skip, done, that was a good video. Skip, next. Regular things that are illegal in North Korea. Last video for the day? Last video for the day, anybody? It's the most secretive country, North Korea. Because the country has allowed some foreign visitors to enter, and because information has been received from defectors, we've been learning some totally bizarre things about the way North Koreans are forced to live their lives in their own bubble, sheltered from the rest of the world by a controlling dictator. We feel sorry for them, which is why we think it's important for us- Dude, I've always said this before, but when you think about it, in terms of personal freedom, Kim Jong-un can do anything that he wants. He's not the most powerful man in the world, but he has the most power in regards to his own people. He can do anything. Anything. Like, yeah, Biden has more power than he does. Putin has more power than he does. But they would receive backlash if they did certain things comparable to Putin. ...to focus on what's really going on there. That's what we'll look into today in this episode of the Infographic Show, Regular Things That Are Illegal in North Korea. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button so that you can be part of our notification squad. North Korea is so serious about controlling crime and its citizens that when various crimes are committed, not only is the assailant punished, but their entire bloodline for three generations too. Whole fam- Dude, that fucking sucks! Imagine you have a grandson and he does like, he like steals from, imagine you're in the US, you have a grandson, he steals a fucking tasty cake from 7-Eleven and then you go to a fucking concentration camp with him because he stole a fucking tasty cake. Families and even entire villages have been publicly executed for the pettiest of crimes wow. in order to teach people a lesson. If someone is lucky enough to escape from a North Korean prison camp, their whole family will be captured and brought into the camp to What tasty cake did they steal, though? That's how mad I would be. If it was a crimpet, I'm going to be pissed. If it was one of those two, those two cake ones, if it was one of those two cake ones and I got thrown in a concentration camp, tasty cakes. What tasty cake would you not be mad at? For them stealing one of these one of the cupcake ones with a with a cream filling i would i'd be like okay i know why you stole it i would still be mad but i'd be like damn why is my tank top furry it's not furry it's like um what what material is this fuck i don't know what the name i forget what the material name is what the oh my god it's like there there's like pants that are it's not felt it's not velvet it's not suede. What is it? Is it suede? Is it suede? I don't know what it is. Fleece? Polyester? It might be polyester. No. Types of pants. 
I don't know. It's like a it's like a type of pants fabric. Dude, it's like, do you know? There's like brown pants in this fabric. What is that fucking called? Is that called fleece? It's not cloth. Dude, I don't know what it is. It's suede. No, it's not. It's it's corduroy. It's corduroy. Corduroy. I think it's corduroy. I'm almost sure it's corduroy. It's corduroy. This is corduroy. That's what this uh, material is. Like corduroy pants. That's what the tank top is. Damn. That fucking took forever to figure out the goddamn <laughs> the fucking material. My Bro, my family car that was going to be mine in a week just got stolen. Laugh my ass off not leaving stream though. Dude, your family car just got stolen? What the fuck? Place them. Let's begin with sarcasm. Some of you may have seen the 2014 comedy titled The Interview in which Kim Jong-un had the absolute piss taken out of him. Well, apparently he wasn't too happy about that and his regime put out terrorist threats to try to shut it down. They even allegedly hacked- Dude, that shit was- I imagine being one of the actors in that. That's so scary. When that movie came out, they like- they like damn near threatened the life of the people that were in that movie. Carl for the sub. Great movie though. One of the funniest movies I've ever seen. The Interview into Sony Pictures servers. In an attempt to avoid any further laughs at his expense, the fearful dictator banned all sarcastic comments about him and North Korea. He particularly doesn't like any- How do you ban sarcasm? Like, like you could- you That's like, that's like a he said, he said, she said type thing. Like, oh, oh yeah, what a great idea. That's sarcasm, right? But, like, it's in an emotional term of voice. Like, what if it's, like, through a letter or something? Anyone using the phrase, it's all America's fault, or him being described as a fool who cannot see the outside world, and doing so will land you in a prison camp. Oh, and you can forget about rolling your eyes, too. Next up, mourning without meaning it. When a North Korean leader dies, it is imperative for citizens to show hysteria and Did you see that? When, who's the, who's the fuck before Kim Jong-un? What is his name? Is it Kim Jong Il? No. He's the third. He's the. Oh my God. Oh, I never know the lead of commands. Il. It's Kim Jong. Kim Jong Il. Kim Il Sung. Kim Il Sung is no. He's the older one. Kim Jong Two. Kim Jong Il. Kim Il Sung is the oldest one. Then it's Kim Jong Il. Then Kim Jong Un. When Kim Jong Il died, they filmed North Koreans crying. And if they didn't cry enough, they arrested you. So everyone would, like, fake cry even if they weren't upset. M7 for the sub. ...and public mourning as a sign of their admiration and worship. When Kim Jong-il died in 2011, a hundred-day mourning period ensued, which saw the streets... A hundred days of crying. If you weren't sad enough, 99 days in, they're arresting you with people crying and falling to their knees. Those who didn't show up to more and faced exit. No! Like you're like day 45 into it. He died a fucking month and a half ago. No! Why? Just like, uh, like just a month and a half after, like it just happened. Execution, and if anyone was spotted not crying or appearing to be sad, they were taken off to a prison camp. If you think your sartorial choices couldn't possibly land you in jail, think again. You'd be hard-pressed to find someone in America that doesn't own a pair of jeans, but in North Korea, you literally won't find anyone wearing them. That's because it's illegal. To North Koreans, jeans are a symbol of their enemy America, and the denim ban imposes their anti-West and anti-USA message. Apparently, the hate for Yankee imperialists is so strong that even kindergarten children are taught to hate anything to do with the USA. Anyone want to Netflix and chill? Not in North Korea. Many North Koreans have smuggled Western media into the country and have shared them amongst family and friends to give insight into the liberated world outside. But this very deed could easily land you in a strict labor camp or even worse, sentenced to death. An anti-Western film titled Propaganda, made by the North Koreans, was leaked to the outside world by defectors. This film was made to show its citizens all the things that are wrong with Western culture. Oh my god, I need to see that movie. I need to see that movie. What do you think that movie's like? It's just everybody wearing fucking, everybody wearing jeans and, and, and saying like dumb stereotypical lingo, talking about killing North Koreans probably. It's just like that's supposed to be the casual conversation of Americans. Yeah, don't you just love taking over other countries and like forcing them to do what you, like something like that?
and it used hundreds of clips from TV shows showing cultural, moral, and political trends that have apparently weakened Western society. Even foreign music could land you in hot water. In 1992, a female former regime propaganda officer made the huge mistake of singing a South Korean song at a party. Wow. She was so badly beaten she couldn't walk for a month, and she was also thrown in jail for three years all music that is played on the radio for singing a fucking song damn what is the only song that that deserves what's a song where if someone sings it you throw them in prison they got she got beaten and thrown in jail for three years what's a song here that would piss me off that much rebecca black's friday yeah rebecca black's friday yeah, that I don't know. Despacito now. Despacito now. Yeah. If you if you sung Despacito now or Baby Shark, I would say that's like that's like that's like six months. That's like six months. For sure. I'm Mango for the three. Hey, since we're off topic on the topic of education, I'm not trying to flex. I am ever so grateful for my parents as my education is basically set as my mom is the director of admissions of Petty. Uh I knew a guy that went to Petty. Uh, fellow New Jersey boy, which is top two, 20 high school in the country, and my dad is the dean at Princeton. Jesus Christ. Talk about being a fucking elite family. Your mom's the fucking print, uh, the head of admissions at Petty, and your dad's the fucking dean at Princeton? Jesus Christ. Radio or by orchestras must be Kim Jong- Good shit. Un ...approved, as well as praise him and communism. Forget about enjoying the new Coldplay or Rihanna album, even admitting you know the words to their songs will land you in deep doo-doo. Want to turn to the Bible in these tricky times? Think again. Despite there being between 200,000 to 400,000 Christians in North Korea, practicing religion is strictly against the law. How is there Christians in North Korea? How do they know? I knew, I know religion was illegal in North Korea. How are there Christians in North Korea? I feel like that's hard to, how, how would they even like obtain Bibles? Just owning a Bible can get you tortured, thrown into a prison camp or publicly executed, wow. perhaps along with your family too. Wow. As there is no right to religious freedom, citizens are forced to worship the Kim family who have actually been found guilty by the United Nations of crimes against humanity for its persecution of Christians. In 2013, 80 Christians were publicly executed in a sports stadium in front of thousands of people just for owning Bibles. When? Christians were nations of crimes against humanity for its persecution of Christians. In 2013, 80... In 2013? That sounds like some shit that would be in, like, 1952. 2013, they publicly executed people for being Christian? Wow. Christians were publicly executed in a sports stadium in front of thousands of people just for owning Bibles, and it is estimated that there is up to 80,000 Christians held in concentration that camps. That is crazy. After banning Christmas, Kim Jong-un now forces a day of hero worship to his grandmother instead. All this killing giving you a headache? That's like Don't so weird. Don't even think of turning off the radio. All houses have a government-controlled radio installed, and it is not allowed to be turned off. Ever. Government announcements are made throughout the day, and you have no choice but to listen to them. Announcements include things like, The dear leader hit a hole-in-one today on his very first try playing golf. Maybe you want to capture some still images of all the poor people around town for your next school. I'm trying to sleep and they forcefully update me on how Kim Jong-un's fucking stroke is going in golf. I wouldn't care. Oh my god. Dylan for the five. We're reading about this and they're brainwashing to think the leaders are immortal and supernatural. Yeah. Cool project. Not so fast. Kim Jong-un desperately wants to hide the fact that around 40% of North Korea lives in- Dude, they still have Kim Jong- or, or Kim Jong-il on display. You can see his body in North Korea. Even though he's been fucking dead, they like pr they like take care of his body and make they they say he's immortal and that he's not actually dead or something. In extreme poverty and earns a salary of only two to three dollars a month. What? Down for your next school first try playing golf. Maybe you want to capture some still images of all the poor people around town for your next school project. Not so fast. Kim Jong-un desperately wants to hide the fact that around 40% of North Korea lives in extreme poverty and earns a salary of only two to three dollars a month. Three dollars a month. Taking photos of the poor is a punishable offense, especially for tourists, as the beyond wealthy dictator is afraid of the country's image being tarnished and perhaps from getting in more trouble by the UN. But surely tourists are exempt from all of these ridiculous laws, right? Wow. wow. Freedom of travel is a big no-no in North Korea for outside tourists. Yeah, if you're an outside tourist, somebody has to follow you around at all times.
and anyone who tries to explore by themselves can get into big trouble. As a tourist in North Korea, you will have your every move planned, controlled and watched by the government so you can forget about any ideas of solo independent travel at your own pace. You won't even be able to use the public transport system or get into your own taxi. Traveling around the country is only allowed as part of a guided choreographed tour, which are usually run by the Korean International Travel Company. Their guides will show you around, but you are so restricted that you won't be able to leave your hotel without your guide, even if you just want to get something from the shop across the street. Otherwise, you and your guide will be punished. It is wow. safe to say that unless you friendly for the sub. enjoy having extremely strict limitations and being watched like a hawk, it's probably better that you don't go on a soul-searching or relaxing holiday to North Korea. If you but could guarantee that I wouldn't die, I would go to North Korea. Would you guys go? 100%. Fear not, dear audience. Just when we thought all hope was lost, we learned that marijuana, of all things, is legal in North Korea. And what? In fact, it's not even considered a drug. You can easily find it being grown in fields and can buy it at local markets. Who would have thought? So, which of the- The one thing that they have that's legal is weed? That's so random. That's fucking so random. Wow. I would have never fucking expected that. All right. Who the fuck are we raiding? Oh, Gideon's live. We could raid Gideon. We'll raid Gideon. I'm down. I'm down. I'm down to raid the Gidster. All right. Um... I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow we're doing the Disney Sniffer Conspiracy Theory. That was a W stream. W stream in the chat. Uh, Disney Sniffer Conspiracy Theory. Thank you for the million followers, by the way. We're going to do something soon after I get the YouTube video done. Whenever I get that fucking done, we'll, do, we'll start working on the Twitch thing for a million, uh, for a million followers. But, uh, yeah, that was a W stream. Uh, thank you for everybody that tuned in. We had a great view count today. Uh, tomorrow we're doing the Disney Sniffer Conspiracy Theory. Then we're going to do on bands and probably some Fall Guys customs with chat. Um, I'll be live at 2 p.m. tomorrow. Uh, 2 p.m. EST. I know normally I'm live at 4.30 on weekdays. Uh, but since it's Labor Day, I'm going to be live a bit early for you guys. Um, Tuesday I won't be live. Wednesday we'll be live at 4.30 doing Red Dead Redemption 2. Thursday I'll be live a bit later, probably around 5, 5.30 doing Val. Uh, Friday reactions at 4.30, Saturday and Sunday live at 2 p.m. doing uh, whatever gaming and then reactions. But uh, yeah, hope you guys had fun watching the stream, and I will see you guys later. We are going to raid in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.